Bethesda's responding to bad reviews of the Starfield on Steam? No. No. Anyone else see the Reddit line uh, headline about HBO people making fake accounts to argue with critics about their reviews too? Do people do this? That's so petty. Thought only one person projects argued with reviews. Oh yeah, 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 sorry. Oh, when they do it, it's cool and and or base. <sighs> will the weekend stream just be the announcement, or will we be playing something too? We will be playing Slay the Princess. Wish I could get paid to vehemently defend a show. I just do it for free. I get paid. I mean, they're not paying me to do it, but I get paid while I do it. Expanse number one fan. How you doing this fine day? Um, really tired. In a good mood, but really tired. Didn't get much sleep, and then I had to wake up early. I've been awake since seven something then had to walk for two and a half hours not all at once there was like a, a break in between um but yeah like in an hour and 15 minutes there and then an hour and 15 minutes back with a break in between well well pushing a heavy stroller uphill one of the ways oh didn't have any food haven't had coffee yet so i'm pretty tired But well, I'm excited to uh, to Alan wake up, and and see the conclusion if we're gonna see it today. Uh, a couple people said this possible I'm gonna see the ending today, but we are starting a bit late, so who knows? Maybe it's gonna be tomorrow instead. Will you aim for completion, like finding all the manuscript pages and such? Uh, if I feel that it's important to do that, then yeah. But I don't feel like it will right now. But we shall see. All right, let's start the game. Start the game already. Alan Wake 2. Have you played the Mario RPG that's coming out? Yes. I played the original release of it on the Super Nintendo way back in the day when it, when it first came out. Not exactly at release because my um, parents had to import it as a Christmas present. Got left an IOU for that one for Christmas. It's nice that they went to the trouble though to get it for me. Whew. 
Do you expect the ending to be good? And if not, you think it will ruin the whole game game to you? Mm. I don't think the ending can be so bad at this point that it will ruin the whole game. But I will be sorely disappointed if the ending doesn't land. I am trying to keep my expectations low because that's my default. And that usually leads me to enjoying things more. Is the announcement on Saturday or Sunday? Uh, weirdly, I I can't tell you that. Not because it's related. Well, it's a little bit related to it. Um, if if we finish the game today, then the announcement will probably be on Saturday. If we finish the game tomorrow, then the announcement will probably be on Sunday. I need I need a day. Yeah. Wait, we were here? All oh, right, we are here. So much build up for some Fido shirts on Redbubble. Merc, Merc, why are you? You're getting a cut. Why are you spoiling the, your own fucking shit? Coffee World. Next right. Let's go do the Ranger Cabin. I would like to do the Ranger Cabin. What else is there to do? Oh, there's some manuscript pages here too. Let's get that manuscript page on the way back. Uh, we also didn't go up here to the watery lighthouse. Uh, is the watery lighthouse worth going to or or what? I definitely wanna to go to the ranger cabin. Recap, please. I don't think I can recap what happened yesterday, sorry. If you're asking for a whole oh, the whole game, I absolutely cannot do that. I'm seeing shadows appearing in the distance now. I didn't notice that before. Was oh, the time of day changing? No, there's no day and night cycle. Oh. Oh man, it looks so good. Lighting really has come a long way. The line Night Springs When Bright Falls in The Ritual Leads You On poem was a fucking banger line. This game uh, seems really well written overall. Yeah, it's... Uh I know I keep saying it, so some people are probably tired of hearing it, but it's definitely several steps above most of the stuff we get in in games. Uh, and that's not necessarily the writer's fault. I'm not saying every other writer that's worked on games has been has been bad. That's not the case at all. It's just very hard to have writing survive contact with gameplay and the attitude of gameplay is king. Um, and it's also unfortunate or fortunate in some cases because I like gameplay uh, that gameplay is king um, I agree with that you know as my cringy line uh, cringy past self said in one of the videos I think it was Rise of the Tomb Raider uh, gameplay is king but story is queen and her throne is right next to his and that's true but that's not true for every game I think you can have a, a better marriage and it's not that we need better writing we need better marriages we need to find a way to make them work um, more harmoniously. Where are we going? Up here. Sorry, I, I am realizing the more I play right now how actually tired I am. So uh, I ordered a coffee from Lily Cafe. It'll be here soon. And then I will perk up, I'm sure. Oh, man. Are all the enemies gone? I cracked up driving into work today, remembering it's not a loop at this point. Yeah, it's it's a really good way. It's it's uh it shows you that sometimes things can be tense and funny or horrific and funny at the same time. Because it is pretty tense. It was a horrific ending for that for that movie. But also the way it, it loops back to uh to what happened in the in the first game, it's also very, very funny. But it has a lot of meaning too, so it's like it's it has a lot of implications, so it's, it's good. Why is it why is it taking so long to reload saga? Oh, it makes your, makes your stodge. 
No, you're someone new! Alright, you know what? I'm leaving. You should really have at least one flashbang on you for situations like this. Yep. Well, I don't have any, though. I don't have any. I legitimately don't have any. I thought I was joking. Uh, does Alan get it? Probably. You probably meant flares, right? Sorry. I, I was... Wait, why, why did it say heal? Oh, because I had a healing out. Okay. Try selling stuff at the store to buy flashbangs. Did you know that Alan is played uh, by two different people? A different actor's voice is dubbed over all the videos. Even the live action parts that we see as live action head on, apply directly to the forehead? Yeah? Oh, is that why he sounds... Is that why he's better at acting when he's the one actually talking as, uh, as Tom? Oh. Okay. Do 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 Puppy. Nice shot. Go pet your dog in repentance. Apparently Gatsby was waiting for me at the door the whole time I was gone today. Lily was sending me pictures of live Gatsby reaction. Hello, dear. Did you happen to watch Mandalore's Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013 Halloween video? It was a banger. Uh, I did not know. Usually I watch Mandalore's videos. I feel like I'm behind a bit on them. I did watch the one where it was the Dungeon Keeper ghost game. That looked interesting. I feel like we've seen this exact cabin a couple times. As usual, the only uh, the only YouTube I watch regularly is uh, Cracking the Cryptic. Did a fairly easy Fog of War one last night. I tried to do the Halloween one where it was a bunch of uh, killer cages that had different dates and three dates because they were uh, a headstone there were gravestones and you had to fit Pat uh, and I had so much trouble with it and then I made a mistake and then I watched Simon do it and I realized that my, my mistake was made right after I realized I made the mistake and I could just backtrack and fix it and I just I put the the path to the wrong square Everything else I was doing was right, and I was so fucking upset with myself because it was so hard, and I thought I was fucking up when I wasn't. I was doing well. Oh, uh, man. Oh, when did, did we just move that? All right. Uh, creating the perfect environment for each test case has become the crux of my study. However, I am certain that setting the stage in a sufficiently convincing manner will make the fiction come into existence. I am now going to use propping in the way a set designer of a feature film would, making the cabin seem like the actual house of the characters depicted in the rhyme with small personal touches and realistic items, in addition to the few key items such as the drawings, dolls, and personal letters used so far. The early results have been promising but incomplete. I will continue with the propping in a controlled manner until it reaches a functional state. It is crucial to gain traction with this. The dimensional op dimensional opening I'm attempting to manifest in this very location will be a groundbreaking achievement worthy of my genius. So says. I'm solving cracking the cryptic puzzles every single day. Binge the whole channel a year a year ago. 
Uh, those guys are awesome. Yeah, they're really good. I like the how they put a, a spotlight on some really great puzzles. I don't know, the star system that um, Logic Masters Germany uses isn't always accurate for me because sometimes I will I will struggle with a three star puzzle more than a five star puzzle. Sometimes the five star puzzles are accurate and I can't even do it. But yeah, the mathy ones get me more than anything else. Who was last person I said thank you to yesterday? Mr. Doctor Professor Nova. Yeah, that was it. So thank you, Dayman Nightman, Dayman, uh, for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eticus, for gifting a sub to tag me if chat Papiga. Zero Vault for the bits. Thank you very much, Zero, zero, zero Vault for the bits. Blah, 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 blah. Extra bits today. Thank you, Zero Vault. Thank you, Hugs and Misses for the resub. Thank you, Senrahin, also for the resub. Overlord Kato for the resub. 16th student gave out 16 gift subs. Ooh. Ooh. And then 16th student also resubscribed themselves. 16 student, 16 months, 16 gift subs. Very nice. Thank you very much. It is 16 months. Thank you, Arch 16 student. P streamer? What do you mean, P streamer? Sorry, I was just checking my phone. I, I owned Weeaboo Bill today via text message, and I want to see if he's acknowledging it. He's not. Very smart of him. His move, I guess. If you want to know the own, I, I asked him if he was interested in that FX uh, show Shogun. The trailer came out today. I watched the trailer. I thought it looked pretty good. And I texted him, you know, like, are you interested in it? And then and then I, I you know, went it, back and forth a couple texts with him. And then I said, yeah, I hope that we, f we finally get a movie like this that's better than The Last Samurai with Tom Cruise. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> let's see how he responds to that. I don't think he's going to be able to just pretend to ignore it for uh, for much longer, but we'll see. Oh, there's nothing else in here? Hold on. Uh, nursery rhyme. Oh, it's on the back of the back of the hoose. Okay. What is that noise? Is this, is this his move? What's going on? If I move my leg up and down, something starts rattling across the room. Hold on. Okay, maybe that's it now. All right, sorry. Finishing today, by the way. Maybe not. There's a rhyme over here. Whoa, what, what, what's going on? A young woman, eager and smart, ventured into the woods. The, the beast's lair, the king of the forest, stole her heart, and together they now live without a care. Is it, is it us? Bear doll. Looks like a tractor to me. We're... King of Forest stole her heart. And then... Mother? Think, Saga. I don't even know if this is the right doll. Nah. Doesn't make sense. It's got to be either mother or maiden or hero. Let's try maiden. Hmm. Horror. What was that bracket there? Doesn't look right. Keep trying. Huh. Why is Joe fully guessing instead of trying the most obvious choices first? 
Um, well, sometimes I am going with the obvious one, and other times uh, I don't even know if I have the right dolls, like this time, so I'm just putting it down and, uh, to be quick about it. Uh, but most of these, to me, are in the realm of guess what I'm thinking, instead of having a problem to logically work through, so I'm just shotgunning it. Uh, if you think that there is something logically worked through, that's great. I'm, I'm not going to disagree with you. I'm not going to argue. I don't feel that strongly about it. But to me, um, I, I can't get my hook into it. So I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. I'll just guess. Is there a guy here? FBC charm increases damage dealt while undetected by enemies. Oh. Well, that's better than uh, the coffee mug charm. Hi, horror. What I miss? Uh, nothing. Just uh, some side quest stuff in the in the ranger cabin, okay? So, nothing big. I think this was a waste of time. I think we're just gonna go straight down here and maybe open the cult stash with the coffee uh, key that we got, and then just keep going down. Maybe get the lunch box, and then um, get the page, and then we'll leave. <laughs> What are you doing right now? We're just doing a, a little bit of side content that we didn't do last time we were here while uh, stream starts. This is not the right way. This is the right way. Have you decided on what the Xmas streams are going to be this year? Looking forward to catching them live. Uh, I don't know if there are going to be Xmas streams this year because if it's between doing Xmas streams or... Um, having to delete everything because the Witcher 3 video is not that I'm going to choose the Witcher 3 video, but we'll see. We good? Alright. I'm going to heal. Are we going to still be good after that? No, We're cool? Alright. Break politics in this game. I'm invincible. I don't see we're supposed to be on patrol last night. Oh, sh oh If anyone sees them or something, let me know. Oh, okay. We were still in combat. Uh, M and T were supposed to be on patrol last night, but didn't show. If anyone hears anything from them, let me know. This is the ritual to lead you on. But I didn't mean to lead you on. Where are we going? We want to go to the exit. Do you want to check the lighthouse? There's a big location in the first game. I don't know if it's worth the trip, but if I if I were making this, it would be. Yeah, I thought I would thought so too, but I asked in chat, and everyone who's played the game said that the lighthouse is not worth it. So maybe it's just a little side area with a manuscript or something. Should we go see? And another lunchbox. How did I miss that? You can do anything you put your mind to, hero. So as long as you put your mind to, sorry, as so long as what you put your mind to is part of the story. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, in that case, let's uh pop some pills. 
Okay, not enjoying all the random enemies we're seeing as we're going through the area to doing some uh, looting, but... I mean, I should have done it while I was here first. Okay, so th also this area opens, this cult stash in this part here. Uh, we can go get the container and go get that real quick. Did we, did we get the cult stash key for that one? I don't think we did. Go up to the lighthouse. Oh man, this is almost full. Didn't he beat this already? Yeah, there's um some side stuff we didn't get. What was the cult's objective? Why were they doing cult things? To what end? The cult's objective is to defend the town from the evil creatures of the people that come back bad. There was a thing about it where Ilmo said something like that. That was what they were trying to do. Now, that doesn't really explain why they're a cult, though. Maybe it's to, to grant themselves some anonymity. Anonymity? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's their way of making something like appear to have more authority so they can control more people into into helping defend the town, maybe? I don't know, but it seems like their intents were in good. Were good. Their intentions were good. Which makes me think more that the Alan Wake we've seen in the real world might not actually be Alan Wake. Or maybe they just want to kill him no matter what. Fixed chair? Okay, so that's that. Like, how would they know? Lunchbox is over there. Do you weigh yourself before and after you poop to see how much weight you've lost? No. I have done that in, at one point in the past, I'm sure. Yeah. And it was pretty fun. Uh, I weigh myself first thing in the morning. You can overcome advers adversity and achieve your goals. Manuscript fragments. And then more map checking. So there's a container and a screwdriver thing in here that we didn't get. And trailer park stash key and bulk. Oh, there's lots of shit around here. Oh, man. How much weight do you did you lose? I've lost almost 20 pounds this year. So I'm pretty happy about that. Where's the key? Is it in here? Hey, Lily. Hey. Thank you for the coffee. I have, I have no degenerate question for you today. Well, not this time. You know, there's still time, you know, later on. I'm sure you'll think of something. Ooh, thank you. <clears throat> oh, I hope this perks me up. I'm so tired. All right. Uh, please respond. Uh, Mr. Skarsgård, thank you for your proposal, Starlight Symphony. Sounds like a wonderful project and a very creative idea. However, our publishing house will unfortunately have to decline at this time. We wish you all the best in the future. Keep dreaming. William Portman. The keys. Hey, I moved the keys somewhere. The flooding can't wash them away. The spot might be a bit harder to reach, but I'm sure you can get your hands on them just fine. Uh, just let me know you're okay, please. I miss you. I don't need to know where you are. Just that you're okay. Just reply to me. You owe me that much. Megan. Wait, wasn't Megan... Oh, did Megan fake a life because she joined the FBC and didn't couldn't tell anybody? Because uh, we saw a, a note from Megan in a different uh, trailer around here, and it seemed very much like it was she was trying to pass her life off that she was living in a big city, right? Fake a life. Where did I go wrong? 
I lost a friend. How to fake a life. This is, again, this this trailer park is remarkably, uh, sorry, in remarkably good condition, is it not? <sighs> Weird. Thank you, uh, Felix Vivo, for the resub. Thank you very much, Felix Vivo. And thank you, Zorgrox, for the bits. And Daniel18964, also for the bits. Thank you, thank you very much. Don't look at the ceiling if you want to think that. What's wrong with the ceiling? It's not, this isn't bad. Do, do people in Finland clean their ceilings a lot? Do, 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 do. I mean, it's not clean. It is, I will agree, it is... Uh, who's bringing the food? It is in uh, dirtier condition than the rest of the, of the house, yeah. Another cult box. Okay, we didn't get the key, though. Something about higher spot, flooded. I saw it on the map. I'm sorry to keep checking the map. Excuse me. Trailer park stash key. It's over there. Okay, am I gonna shoot it or what? Aha! The woods will swallow you whole. Wait, hold on. This is not FBC. This is cult stuff. Huh. huh. I don't know what I don't know what that is then. What did I just see on the Oh, it was the door. Okay. Giant stuff. Oh, fucking hell, I hate giant stuff. Oh. How do you feel about games like this marking all the unfound collectibles on your map? Well, I'm I'm consenting to it because I have uh, the setter charm on to make it happen. So I could take it off, but now that we're deep into the game where we're close to the end and we're just like going through, uh, I think it's a good addition. So it's like, oh, I didn't get it, get everything. Makes me feel like I fully explored an area, you know? This one feels about right, actually. Okay, so what's this one gonna be? Wise Elder Doll. The old man who could not see had no children of his own, so he cared for a fawn not yet grown. For the deer, for him was dear, and filled his life with love. Baby? Oh, is there a deer one? Deer doll. Oh, hold on. So old man cares with a heart, and the deer is on the the chick one. Nope. Really? The deer was precious. That's not right. The deer was home. Ugh. The deer was an eyeball. No. No, okay, so it's not that one. The deer was heart, 
And he was looking at it from over here. Doesn't look right. No, he was over here. Nope. He was in his home. Hmm. No, he was lo he was looking at it from this eyeball. There we go. You're just you're just a dude. Uh. A charm. Saga, do we just Perfect do murder? Perfect bracelet. Significantly increases time before darkness shields regenerate, so they can come back. Point of interest, container, container, another nursery rhyme. Oh, we forgot to pick up the doll. If you were to make a show with Monkta being the setting, would it be a comedy or horror drama like Twin Peaks based on your experience? Um, probably a comedy. With some horror elements, maybe. I have an idea of, so of something to make uh, based on my experience in Moncton, but uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to make it. But maybe one day. There's lots of ideas like that. Parade folks will be seeing a deer fest. This year's parade theme is deer. So this is repeating. It's on spiral. Okay. Starlight Symphony, hair covering logo. Does hair do this in space? What is rocket connected to? Move foot out for better silhouette. In space, no one can hear you sing. Make text big, maybe more eye catching font choice. Comic book story idea a literal space opera, sci fi musical with an alien love triangle. Murder mystery. Yeah, but do they know they're singing? Aliens meets rear window. Sunshine meets sound of music. Musical parts drawn in black and white, negative colors. Singing is rhythm. Thanks, Pat. I was reading. Rhythm is visual, break the fourth wall, go all out. This is going to be my best work yet. If we listen to this again, will there be a new one next time we get to the radio, or is this it? It's chapter bound? Okay. Tenant use only. What about Smith? All right, fuck. It. I'm I'm just gonna keep checking the map. It's right behind me, apparently. It's right. He's right behind me. It's it's this. I I thought I did this. No, it's not. The boat? It looks like it's right in front of me. Is it the boat? Oh, oh, oh.
Nah, he's uh, he's doing so well. Oh, is it this? He got me, man. He got me. Oh, this isn't here. It might be, but yeah, but this, so it's gonna be on the list. I'm not gonna get my achievement. Oh. Do not disturb. White line at the edge of the screen, Shan? Is that you? If you're not here for every stream, rest assured that th that is an actual Chan that was actually Chanified and actually showed up in fan art. Jedi Survivor Streams. The old fisherman had great luck. His catch at sea was beyond belief, but the hungry guests found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. Hmm. Mm. Maybe that's going to spawn the thing we can look into. Old fisherman had great luck. Alright, at the sea. Fisherman... Wise Elder Doll? Hungry Guest Found Relief. Wolf? That's not right. With the candy. Nah. Doesn't make sense. Keep trying. No? Monster? Uh, think Saga. Oh. No. No. Or do we have any other animals? Monster, wolf, deer. Oh, bear. Maybe it's bear. Hmm. Bear. Uh, no. Okay. There we go. This is ridiculous. What, what's ridiculous? Oh, the fish trail. Have you considered writing about your YouTube streaming and writing career, or would that require div divulging personal info you don't wish to share? Um, I mean, not really. Maybe a little bit now and then. I thought about it. Uh, you let Logan drown. Oh. Now it's here. The color of all nights. Of the Oh, what the? I was expecting that. I was expecting a swing, not a punch. Uh, I've thought about it a little bit, but not seriously. Mm -hmm. There was a time mm -hmm. in life where I thought about doing a uh, like a, a narcoleptic memoir okay, kind of thing then. to explain what it's like to have narcolepsy. I even had the title. It was a cringy title, but I really liked it. It was pretty cheesy. Uh, it was called Sleeping with the Safety Off. I thought it was a pretty good title. But probably won't never do it. Got too much to do. <laughs> Nice, Mr. Joe.
Why are there suddenly so many? Alright, we did it. Would you use your author name? Like, like, my real name? Maybe. It floats. And then if something new gets put in, it kind of bobs down for a second, yeah. Let's uh, heal, because I don't want to go all the way back with, with uh, red blood chan around the, uh, the, the screen the whole time. Right, what's Lots this of one? charms lying around here. Increases quality and quantity of resources found. Oh, that's what I want to get to the end of the game. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Adds one charge to flashlight. Um, we're never at maximum health. Maybe we should put that one on instead. Um, if you don't get the joke in my title, uh... Do I even want to explain it? I don't know. Narcolepsy has a bunch of things that could be described as, as, as sleeping without some of the precautions that the body usually takes. Uh, you're usually paralyzed when you're asleep. Narcoleptics don't have that. That's why they often sleepwalk and act out their dreams. Um, it's to prevent you from hurting yourself. Uh, and that's mostly where it comes from. Oh, this is just... It's, it's just a dispenser. I can get whatever I want out of this now. Hold on. Let's walk around again. Do I need to loot everything? Okay, how far away do we have to get before it closes? You're not closing. Well, well, why are you guys coming back? Custody, you are not authorized. Take the boxes. <laughs> What 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 the what the fuck is going on with this box? Call FBC? I can I take this with me? Right, can we land a shot, Joe? Please. Thank you. What closed it? Can you tell Jads to stop wanting to fuck an anime girl spider for two seconds? Hey Jads, it's me, ya boy. Can you please stop wanting to fuck an anime girl spider for two seconds. Thanks. Here you go. <gasps> oh, I like this box. Oh, this is, this is a good box. We just, we, oh, oh, okay. All right. I don't know what's going on here, but I, I feel like Christmas came early. All right. Will it, will it do it if we look? This reminds me of the guy in, in Cyberpunk that I killed um, with an execution with my katana on his head, and his head exploded, but he didn't die. So, but he went inactive and idle and just kept standing there um, with a, with no head, like moving his gun back and f back and forth in kind of like this idle animation. And I could loot him like he was dead, and I would loot him, and then two seconds later, his inventory would refresh with a new weapon and some ammo or like a like a, a heal or whatever um oh okay
Regular monsters are Ag Roar, Alan Wake monsters preheat the oven to 375 degrees. <laughs> How'd you find out you had narcolepsy? Hold on. How'd you find out you had narcolepsy? Did you get diagnosed when you were younger? Or did it develop later in life? Apologies in advance, the question is too personal. Don't know much about narcolepsy. I was curious. No, it's fine. Um, I, as far as I understand, I've always had it. Uh... There's something I can say about how you can get narcolepsy that is apparently true, but if I said it, I might get banned off Twitch. So I don't know if I want to say it. You could probably find out from Googling, but if I said it, I don't know. I might get banned off Twitch. I don't know if I'm if I, if that kind of kind of thing is is allowed. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. I can't remember. What does that even mean? Remember when um, I made the joke about um, Max in Life is Strange when she made the comment about the flu? There's a link between fuck it, I'll say it. And if we get and if we get banned, we get banned. All right. Um, there's a link between getting vaccinated as, as a child and developing narcolepsy, but it is a extremely like extremely minuscule chance, and you already have to be susceptible to developing narcolepsy it's almost like it's activating it inside of you rather than than giving it to you okay like you should still get vaccinated it is it is an unbelievably minuscule chance you, I, I i took my kid to get vaccinated today that's what the appointment was um so yeah uh so i don't think that was it but you know i was i was vaccinated as a kid um so yeah i don't know if that talk is allowed but yeah There have been links between that. Uh, I can't remember which which ones they were, but I did some reading about it. Yeah. Do your own research. Do you say that in the Witcher Three video? Of course I do. All right. Where's the next one? Oh, they're just, they're responding too. Anyway, sorry, one second. Can I open that one as well now? The link. Uh, if I remember, it was actually the vanilla swine flu virus, not the swine flu vaccine. When I read it, it was explicitly the vaccine. Hopefully, it is the virus. I don't. Well, actually, is that better? More people are gonna. Will more people get it then? I don't know what that is. For the for the sake of uh, you know people having no excuse to, to, to or conspiracy theory to say hey vaccines don't work, then yeah, I hope so. But maybe it's worse. I don't know. So I don't want to say hope. Um, nice one, Saga. Nice one. I would like to close the door. Alright, now I would like to heal. Because we're red and I'm trying to talk about narcolepsy. Is, is that. Anyway, uh, so as far as I understand, I I had uh, narcolepsy my whole entire life. Uh, I remember some of my earliest memories, maybe even my earliest memory, is laying in bed at night not being able to sleep. Um, so I've had it my whole entire life. However, I, I always hasten to add this whenever I talk about anything that is uh, very hard to diagnose is that I might not be narcoleptic, I might just have a sleep disorder that presents as narcolepsy that has enough of the similarities that narcolepsy has that I am just in that area. Um, a lot of mental illnesses like that as well. Uh, uh, Lily is bipolar, we've said that a, couple, a bunch of times, she's spoken about it at length when we used to do the Q&As. Uh, Lily is specifically bipolar 2, um, and there's a spectrum there of what your bipolar is, bipolar 1, bipolar 2, I think there's even a, a type 
uh, on top of that, I think now there might even be a, a bipolar three. Um, I'm not sure, and that's because it's very hard to nail these things down into a, a nice definition. Here, let's check the box. So you're in that area, but we don't know um, where. You know. Uh, so yeah. Let me finish my coffee a little bit. So my narcolepsy um, affects me differently than other narcoleptics might have it. Um, I have a lot of trouble getting to sleep. I have a lot of trouble having restful sleep. I dream constantly. Uh, the, the specific symptom that they test for, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today. And I know I've said this so many times that some of you must be bored of me explaining narcolepsy, but someone asked. I'll try and do it quickly. Um, the defining symptom of narcolepsy, at least when I was diagnosed uh, in Toronto, was entering REM sleep instantly most normal people who have normal sleep need i think it's 60 to 90 minutes to completely finish a sleep cycle that's usually what the sleep cycles are and it takes them a little while to enter rem sleep and rem sleep is not i believe the vast majority of their sleep when they enter rem sleep a narcoleptic will enter rem sleep immediately and might even remain in REM sleep even when they're awake. And that's when they get hallucinations. And that's when there's like, I, I usually describe it as light switches. There's like awake asleep, dreaming, not dreaming, and paralyzed, not paralyzed, because you're meant to be paralyzed when you're asleep so you don't hurt yourself. And in a normal person, you can, you can you're, you're asleep, and that's the only time you can dream, and that's when you're paralyzed. In a narcoleptic or someone else who has a sleep disorder, um, those three switches can go off at any time in any order. Um, so you can be awake and dreaming, you can be awake and paralyzed, and you can be asleep and not paralyzed and act out your dreams. So it's 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 that sort of thing. Um, I didn't know I had it until I was in my early 20s, when I finally got a, a sleep or a sleep study um, prescribed, whatever suggested. I went and got it done. And the, I had to go and sleep there overnight with a bunch of shit uh, attached to my scalp. And then I had to stay for five naps the next day. Uh, and they knew I was narcoleptic before I was done the second nap. <laughs> Referred, thank you. All accounts of sleep paralysis are scary as fuck. Yep, I've had sleep paralysis. It's been... Thankfully, a long time since I've had sleep paralysis. I used to get it a lot more. Um, but even then, even when I did get it, it wasn't as uh, it wasn't as bad as some other narcoleptics get it. Um, and I count myself very lucky for that. But uh, it's horrifying. It's it's easily the worst thing I've ever gone through. And it didn't even last that long. It is just just the worst thing. We have a lot of healing. Did you watch Haunting Hill House? Yeah, I really liked it. Haunting Hill House was really good. Thanks for explaining. Sorry to get us off the bunny trail for conversation. Nah, it's it's on me. I I waffle. What we're this is full now. What are we doing? Should we take the the rifle ammo? Coffee world. I mean, quality and quantity of resources found is probably pretty good, but I think I want to put the uh, the dog one on instead. Should we keep these and use them interchangeably when we found everything? Is that something that we want to do? Is that the kind of gamer that we are now, Joe? I don't know. Um, What else do we want to take? I, I kind of want to put these coffee ones on and just die to make room, but let's see if we don't have to do that yet. <laughs> Excuse me. Health? We could take some health and just burn it for the space. Yeah, I guess so. If we get if we get damaged, nah, we can just do it when we come back. Maybe find inventory upgrades. I don't know where they are. Maybe there's one up here at the lighthouse. That would be good. Hill House was great. Yeah, I really enjoyed Hill House. The episode Two Storms is um, one of my favorite episodes of television. Really, really good. I think the one before that is also a banger as well. And we're 
next it's time to make some predictions on what parade floats we'll be seeing at Deerfield. My first watery visit, I'm staying near the so lighthouse trailer park at a nice little spot just off the road. It's very quiet here during the day. At night, not so much. I've never been too nervous and can sleep through an earthquake, but here, I don't know, something just feels off. The animals act weird. They're restless at night, making weird noises and running away, and I could swear I heard hear someone moving around circling. I'm going to give it one more night and then move on. Did we read this one here last time? Maybe we did. Radio thing is bugged, right? Yeah, seems like it. Hill's director just did a new show based on Poe, Fall of House Usher, really good. Yeah, I heard good things. I haven't seen uh, Midnight Mass or whatever yet, though, so I'm way behind. Again, anything I watch with Lily, and I watch Hill House with Lily, um, is hard for us to to find to schedule to find time to do. I didn't watch the Blythe Manor one either, whatever the fuck it was. Maybe I should just watch it, and then when we Another finally get around to watching it together, boxes. I'll just I'll just pretend that I haven't seen it. Be like, oh, oh, wow, what a surprise! I did not expect that to happen, but then almost at the same time, but not quite. Another hand grabbed my other wrist. It was my childhood's friend's estranged twin brother, a rugged ex soldier who'd helped me fight back the zombie horde. With his chiseled jaw and smoldering eyes and worn leather jacket, my heart fluttered like a small bird against its cage. Ignore him, babe. You know I'm, I, you know I'm who you want. The sensitive friend I had cared for all my life, or the intense warrior I had known for one harrowing day. How was I ever going to choose? The zombies were easier than this. This is great. I would like to read more of Rose's uh, zombie apocalypse uh, young adult fiction. Please? Please? She's the next Alan Wake? Wait, if she's writing this in Bright Falls, isn't that going to come true? Oh no. Apparently there is a definitive test of narcolepsy now, but it involves getting a lumbar puncture, spinal tap, whatever it is. They have to test your spinal fluid to confirm that your brain has the autoimmune capability to kill something in some part of the brain that regulates sleep. Has to levels of erection. Yes, it is. Yeah. There's been some. Oh, do we not have the key? Oh shit. There's been some developments recently in the world of narcolepsy. Coffee world is all smiles. Yeah. An old watcher of the sea before his demise cursed the waters that ruined his eyes, so he played a trick on the ocean deep, the waves to fright and havoc to wreak, havoc to wreak and in doing that wrong, lost his soul song. His soul song. What? A whole battery for this guy. And then we died. Alright. Um, am I misunderstanding how Saga switches weapons? Sometimes I hold right to fire and she just doesn't pull up the weapon for ages. Is there some reload animation thing that he did? It won't come true. There has to be some artistic merit for it to come true. Sadly for Rose, young adult fiction is all cynical trash. What do you, is she using an AI to, to write it? To make sense of it. She reloaded the flashlight. Oh, that's why. That sucks to die because she was reloading the fucking flashlight. I wanted to do a quick shotgun blast. Oh, another rhyme. There we go. 
Okay, that's good it, job, right? Saga. Yeah, good job, Let's Saga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great, great job. All right, three. There were three of them. An old watcher of the sea before his demise cursed the waters that ruined his eyes, so he played a trick on the ocean deep. Uh, the ways to fight and havoc to wreak, and doing that wrong, and in doing that wrong, lost his soul song. I have, I have no clue. What if I don't even have the ones of the Sneeds? Watcher of the sea. So I, uh, wise elder. Old watcher of the sea. Ruined his eyes. Soul song. Hero. I have no idea, chat. I, 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 I have no idea. Child? Nah. Okay. Hero? Doesn't make sense. Crow? Keep trying. Moose? Nope. Trick? Makes sense. Does it? Play the trick. Oh, play the trick on the sea. I guess it makes sense, yeah. Oh boy. Alright, what did that do? I don't have the key. Yeah, you don't. Did we ever use the cult necklace? Hmm. Okay. That took a lot of shots, even with the misses. black stuff right is this game garbage no it's really good big disco elysium vibes should have equipped the uh the charm that gives better quality and quantity am i crazy for thinking it would just be more fun if that as you found these you just got them all forever they're incremental upgrades. Just just let me have them all on. And then every single time you get a charm, you're like, hell yeah, I got a charm, you know? Or And if it's too powerful with them all, just nerf them a tiny little bit to make it that way. Like, I, I don't know. I don't like this, this choice. Sometimes choices aren't a good thing. I feel like I lost the path. Someone's getting banned for bullying. Uh-oh. Is it me? Is this the point in the Witcher 3 video? Um, hold on, let me go to my mind place. Girl, he's a Witcher. Place of power, gotta be. Wind's howling. Drowner. Uh, no, but I do, I do uh, complain about the progression system, yeah. Still down? Okay, we got everything over here, right? Oh wow, there's so much shit in there. When do we get the fucking the the key to the lighthouse? Oh, and also there's a stash. Uh wait, what?
Another locked box. Okay, diamonds. Two triangles. One triangle. How do I know the order? Oh no. A square. Two lines. Okay, well there is no diamond. How the how the fuck am I supposed to know? Wait, the squares could be the other way, couldn't they? They could be that way. We don't know the orientation. Uh-oh. I don't know. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe that's not it. Oh, what about that one? Okay, circle. Circle. Circle has two. One, two, three, four, third position, three sides, no, all right, two is that one, all right, two is that one, there we go, I think that's it, two is that one. Oh, and three is that one, okay, two is that one, three is that one, and then we just rotate the first one. Getting the Anderson brothers on board would be a big win for us, so I'm offering a $100 Superstore gift card plus a year's worth of free coffee at the Oh Dear Diner to whoever gets those two to join. Let's get recruiting. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> so funny, I choked a little bit. That's funny. All right, so what was the right one? Shit. Where's the one line? Is it circles one line? That's two. That's three. Did I just miss one? Any interest in the Robo Robocop game? Looks kick ass. Um. What was that? Is that one? I've seen one of the RoboCop movies and I don't remember it at all. <laughs> There's something kind of fucking ridiculous about RoboCop. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm a RoboCop enjoyer. I don't know. Matt How the Fuck, did that just happen? That's interesting. Talos Principle 2 got released today. Did you play the first one? I did not know. Not for longer than 10 minutes. Robocop is quite sincere. Yeah, maybe I was too young to understand it.
I don't know how old I was when I saw it. Like, 9, 12? Like, super young. And when I say watched it, it was, like, in the room while I was around. You know, on in the room while I was around. Um, okay. Someone said that the lighthouse key is not a spoiler. Um, I get, uh, do I have to find it somewhere? Or is it going to be given to me at some point? Why is everyone so hyped about Talos Principle? Uh, some people really enjoy the first one. A charm, my oh. bracelet. Increases max amount of health restored in safe havens. Oh, that's a good one. Do I want that over the, the flashlight? I don't know, actually. You can put on with save rooms. Yeah, that's the problem. Just, just let me have it on then. Don't let me. Don't make me fiddle with things for um, an increase. You want it because you avoid health kits like the plague. What if I put it on and then start using health kits? Hey, it's the quiet guy. Not fixed. Bailey ran around the corner as the street lamps flickered and went off. It was in front of him, a glitching cloud, a dark, boiling monster. Looking at it felt like what a stroke must feel like. He was sick with fear. He fell. The dark presence ripped into him, swallowed him, filled his lungs and his brains with dark water. Bailey saw a snarling face in the darkness. Then he realized it was his own face. He was snarling. He was standing in the street in the dark and he was snarling. He was snarling, he snarled. <laughs> the monster was gone. The darkness coiled around him in tatters and wisps. He was the monster now filled with rage. He was the monster now filled with rage, he shouted. I am Arthur, said Arthur. Okay, so I think that's it. I think we can, can progress uh, main story chain now. There is some stuff that we missed here, but I feel pretty confident that we got most of the stuff here, apart from the lighthouse. Which, uh, for no reason at all, I feel the key to that is in another area, not this one. Let's go say goodbye to the chocolate lab. Ooh, he's all go boy. Hmm. Let's go. Thank you to Miguel on the run for the new sub. 28 minutes ago. What a great streamer. Thank you, Miguel on the run. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're still here, but you might be on the run. I'm really tired today, chat. I'm sorry. Remember you asked about Elden Ring challenges before? Are you still interested in what people have done in the game? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember what, that, what that's referencing. Was it that like I'm interested in speedruns and how people end up uh, like just donkey on the game? Yeah, I've I've seen some of that. Okay, do we want to go? Okay, we haven't been back here. No, have we been back here? What did we last do? What we last did was we went through here. And then we saw the end of the chapter, and now we have to go to the police station, so the sheriff station. So we have what the fuck? It doesn't budge.
Damn. I mean, hitless stuff? Wasn't every boss beaten hitless uh, in Elden Ring within a couple of uh, weeks of it coming out? Or do you mean hitless with certain uh, certain builds? Did you see the Millennium Boss Fight in Sekiro? I did, yeah. Looked pretty cool. How did they rig that up? Take some healing, drop this, uh, put the bolts away, and then if we need some healing, we'll do it later. I, I really wish I could drop some of these charms. Oh, man. Maybe we want to take some flares and just use them liberally in the next, in the next uh, area. So we're going to the police station. Um, what was the locked door in the Odir Diner? I thought we went through the door in the in the Odir Diner. Align the med kit, Joe. What do you mean, Joe? Please align the first med kit to the left so it looks like a perfect column. What? All right, there you go. Everyone happy? In the stash? This this is my inventory. It's not my stash. Pay attention. I know the game's been pretty dense, but pay attention. Come on, we're at the end. We can get through this. Come on. Was this open before? There's another cult stash. <sighs> Overprivileged town hall folks complaining about to poor TV reception. Hopefully not due to paint job. Took a photo of a giant moose statue in the park. Great memento. Great memento. Damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. Park's trash can needed fresh coat of paint. Painted an extra layer. Tried painting the large tree in the park, but the weather was too hot. Cooled down on the, on a beach in the sheltered area and had an epiphany. Replaced the screw on the purple park bench. What? Okay, so one January over privileged town hall folks complaining about. Okay, where where's the town hall? We have to look there, and then there's damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. What flowers? And then large tree in the park. Am I right in thinking that the first one is the first first one? Like zero one is is slot one, zero two is slot two, zero three is slot three. It has to be that, right? Large cool down on the beach and shelter area and had an epiphany. Let's just let's just Nogito luck it. Nope. No. Okay. Painted a tree in in the park, but couldn't get it done, and then went to the he beach shelter. He wouldn't not tell us, especially after all the weirdness of the lodge. I'm worried, Jules. Well, I'm fucking worried too. You just had to follow some stupid internet rumors and solve the riddle of Bright Falls. 
You didn't have to come. It's not my fault we got caught in the middle of an active occurrence. Look, we just need to find Marcy. Okay. TV? <gasps> it's fixed! How, how did you do this? It won't open. Oh. oh, it's open now. No reading today. Is there anything in there? No, apparently it's just a locked door. All right, where's where's the oh? There's a cult stash down there as well. Okay, one of us needs to stay at the lodge in case Marcy shows up, and the other one should go out looking for her. If we canvass the wood, we're sure to find some tracks or something, some hints to her whereabouts. We can even use some of our equipment. This is not the time. Oh, weird. Another one of those cult boxes. One, two, three. Nope, that's not it. Six in position two. Three's binding. Up next, it's time to make some Something about six nine. Nice. Gonna be seven. It's none of them. Really? Go back to radio. Oh, we've seen it before. It's looping. Oh, is that the first one? And it's just from the wrong angle? It does look pretty high up, actually. Maybe it's six something nine. Psych, that's the wrong angle. No, it's six nine something. If you steal from the cult of the tree, then the cult will come for you. Oh, there's a whole other line of inventory to get still. Alright, what was it? Was it 7 or 8? Where is it? Maybe we're not supposed to find it, but you're just supposed to infer the last one. Once you have two, the yeah, next one's easy. Fishes are biting again. Yes, fishes. Yeah. Exactly right. I didn't like all that hubbub earlier. Boy, thanks. Okay, is that the symbol we want in the took shelter in the whatever the fuck? Is that it? That's it, right? It's a good thing the flooding's done away with too. Took shelter on the beach? No, maybe it's just a cult symbol. Cult of the tree is a shit. It gave me two triangles.
I've forgotten what the triangles are. It would be in yellow, right? Because he was painting. No, maybe it wouldn't be. So, what do you think that whole thing in the lodge was about? I don't think. It's better not to get mixed up with that bunch. Ah, so you do know something after all. She got you there, bud. Wait, dug up flowers? No, they're here. God damn it. Where are their dug up flowers? Okay. What's this? Secluded in the park? Dug up flowers? Is this it? I'm confused. You what would this one be? Time, Fought our way through it. Held fast. All right, stacked pointing upwards, and then lazy diamond. I have no idea what this is all about. Maybe they replanted the flowers. It's been a while. It was for the lunchbox. The lunchboxes don't have, um, don't have locks on them, do they? Damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. Cooled on the bench in a sheltered area and it had to pick. Okay, alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Flowers. Bench. Alright, and then. Yeah! Alright! Oh, uh, this, this was so fucking worth it. Monsters live in the woods. Okay. Let's go, baby. All right, uh, sheriff station. All right, it's main quest time. Everyone, wake up! Wake up! Everyone, wake up! Scratch and sniff. Here we go. Wake up! Power's out. Always a good sign. I hope the toilet paper's okay. They're taken inside. Never did uh, clean that sink. Holding cells. Is that where they're keeping wake? Door is locked, though. Anyone here? I'm here in the closet. We'll come out. It's fine. Agent Estevez? Is that you? Anderson? Did I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. Looks like. <laughs> My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the Shadow, and if you a don't- taken. Yeah. I'll handle it. Hey, can you hold on to this for me? No, you can't? Okay. She sounds like the blue haired girl from Life is Strange. Why are you pretending not to know Chloe's name? Come on. I 
heard the pause. You forgot to. I didn't. I the pause was whether I wanted to commit to the bit or not. And it ruined it. All clear, Estevez. Oh no. When did all this go down and no one heard anything? That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. I accept thanks in Bitcoin. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him. Out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the Shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. Why? Why would you take him down to the morgue for an examination? Oh, we're not going to kill Casey, are we? What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Ugh. Oh, shit, Chet, you're right. Is, uh, excuse me. This is a leg wound. She needs to go to the hospital yesterday. She's all... She, honestly, she's probably not going to live. If you get shot in the leg, you, you better be in a hospital at the point of the contact when the bullet enters you. Like, or else you, she's fucking dead. We came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake. But it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. That was a reference to the uh, moment in the Life is Strange 1 playthrough when some people in chat were arguing, only a few, that a bullet to the, to the leg would be more deadly and would result in a higher fatality rate than getting shot in the torso. Some people were arguing, and I want to, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt that uh, a leg wound would be more fatal than you might think. I'm not lumping you guys in with the others, but some were arguing that a leg wound was the worst kind of bullet wound. We're low on resources, problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Tell Wake me, where is Wake? This. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. <laughs> We're locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the Shadow in some way. So he voted for... Estevez. I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. You'll need these keys. How about a fuse? All right, so she's dead. Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. Does Jesse have me, Anderson? I read you. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah. On it. Someone's asking, does does Jesse have director powers outside of the oldest house? And that's a good question. I don't know. I didn't assume that her powers were tied with being in the house, but maybe they are? I don't know. I'm gonna guess yes. Her powers were because of Polaris, no? I don't remember that word, being in control. <laughs> Yeah, it is, oh, that sounds about right. Yeah, Polaris. Yeah, uh, yeah, that would that would work outside of uh, all this house. Yeah. Another cult stash. I can't. I can't see. What? One. 
four, six. Okay. Beware the cult of the tree. Whoa, this looks really bad right now. What? Holy shit! PlayStation 3, current gen! PlayStation 3, current gen! PlayStation 3, hey, current gen! All right. <laughs> Is that everywhere? Oh God, really? All right. What do we want to dump? Okay, I don't think we're ever going to. We might put the lighthouse trauma on, actually. Let's get rid of the rocket. They don't stack? Oh, God. All right, let's use, let's use one in the battle down here. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's go in with it out. This is uh, called a pro gamer move. Like what I've done with the place. Hmm. Casey, Could you son of a bit. Funny. How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look. Biggest twist ending of this game is gonna be Casey lives all the way through. Look, Anderson, it's just a it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Karen. Who? Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new oh. friends, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? And they were casemates. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence. It's real, too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. Watery turned out to be a good lead. Dog found from the air. clicker and the cult. But the horror story is changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's uh. The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What are you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Uh-oh. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You. Logan. All of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah. Okay, so. Man, that is... They are walking a tightrope right now. Because on the one hand, Casey acknowledging that should be pretty damning and make you think, oh shit. I feel like you, it really makes you feel like your your saga, Spider-Man. Um, because you would want to hold on and be like, no, I know what reality is. Because my mind is going right now, no, there was that conversation at the car at the beginning when she said, Logan says X to Casey, and Casey's like, yeah, sweet kid, and, and acknowledged that Logan was saying something. So at that point in the time, Logan was alive. So that makes me think Casey has been changed, but is that maybe not true, you know? Like, 
maybe that scene is playing with your expectations a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. Give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. Oh, look at the trigger discipline. Stay put, Damn. Casey. Damn. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Casey, want to see a magic trick? Want to go back to Max Payne 2? Ho, 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 you're back. Oh, it looks good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Welcome back. All right, here we go. Anderson, good That's news, better. bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. What's with uh, fuses in this game? It's because uh, characters are fusing together a lot. You see it here, right? In the in the profile. Oh, we didn't do this! Shit. There's a lot of, like, uh, duality. Fusing and unfusing. Oh no! Okay, I don't even know what I was meant to be doing there. Oh, she was confused too? Okay. Was it the head? More coming down. Oh what the fuck? Yes, Saga. That's what I wanted to do. Casey, you want to help? Casey, you have infinite ammo. Let's help. Let's do this together. Situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy. I'll wait here. Uh huh. Why can't I reload? Oh, I have the wrong one equipped. Alright, that would be why. Okay, so two containers, a uh, point of interest in the autopsy room. Subject, Alex Casey, FBI. Subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and events. Concussion, similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals. Exposure to the shadow is suspected but not confirmed. Physical wounds are minimal. Light abrasions, possible mild concussion. Continued observation shows no signs of increased aggression. The subject, subject remains aware and coherent. Flirty even, a starkly different uh, progression from than other victims. Reasons for exceptional results unknown. Less severe exposure, subject's resilience, intentionality on shadow's part required Requires further examination testing. And there were some containers in here. What was that? There's one. Oh, there is one behind me. There's one behind me, and there's one over there. What? Game is kind of buggy in like a petty way. A lot of petty bugs does that make sense nothing game breaking nothing like oh my god i can't progress my character i might have to go and find a clinic and transition some way you know in canon in game um nothing like that um you know our car hasn't split into two different states and we're flying around firing laser beams out of out of space or anything what the fuck like see this is what i mean it's, it's just kind of petty bugs still still bad don't get me wrong like i'm not going to excuse them completely but there's a lot of them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Someone said this profiling. Okay, sorry, one second. K 
Casey. Oh. I can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. Poor Casey. In Casey, scary cat says what? Calm down. Am I being annoying today? I feel insecure right now. Am I being annoying? This is I'm tired. Am I being normal? Am I being... Okay, if I'm being annoying, but that's normal. Am I being normal today? No? I'm fine? Okay. Sorry, I'm just feeling a little out of it. I'm good? Alright, thank you. You're being annoying by asking why you're being annoying? If you're being annoying... Oh, no! I'm being annoying! So I am being annoying! Oh... Casey really should have come up with us. Anderson, over here. It's a bit sus. Ooh. I'm coming, dear. There's a trolley in there, isn't there? There's a trolley in there. With darkness, and I'll shine a light on her. Alright, I don't think we're getting in. Got a little cramped in that closet. Is the FBC sending any help? We were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. FBC kind of sucks, huh? What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. How'd you know I was going to say that, Will Z? Whose payroll are you on? Don't let your guard down. Wish me luck. According to the Luck and Probability Department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. Okay, seriously, we're gonna get Casey out, right? Oh yeah, we're here for Alan. Fuck, oh, do we get a new gun? 911. No. What's 911 in Finland? Probably like 100 or some bullshit. 101. 112. No. What what did I do today to deserve such service? Thank you. Got a chocolate. In twenty ten, right? 
Oh, okay. In 2010, writer and suspected para-utilitarian para Alan Wake was reported to have disappeared in the Cauldron Lake, a known threshold site. Three years later, a small group responsible for multiple killings was arrested in New York City by federal investigators. The murders were recreations of deaths found in the writing of Alan Wake. Interrogations with the murderers revealed they saw Wake as a sort of prophet, describing themselves as his cult, and considering his novels to be sacred texts. As Wake was missing at the time, it's unlikely he had any personal involvement with this cult. At least there was there is no evidence supporting the idea. Soon after the New York cult was detained, an organization known as the Cult of the Tree began operating around Cauldron Lake, the same area Wake disappeared. This is now the second organization branding themselves as a cult with a direct physical connection to Alan Wake, operating in the location he was last seen in. I propose that this is not a coincidence and would like permission to search for a link between Wake and the Cult of the Tree. See File one four five one five three two six for the full pr pr proposal. All right. Well, that's not going to be the code there. Research facility WA zero three at Cauldron Lake WA has been compromised. Cause unknown. The incident was visually confirmed by Agent Estevez when she visited the facility to make contact with Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont, heads of op of the operations at the lake house. Uh, the facility itself is reported to be in a damaged state with no living staff found during a brief search. A longer search was not possible due to an active AWE in the area requiring all available resources. Hmm. Hmm. Pat? Kill the Joe, make some mo. Is it even locked? It looks open. Nah, you have to unlock it to get it. And part of the gun isn't sticking out, so you can't just press F next to it and get it. Lame. Do not microwave whole fish. I shouldn't have to say this. Ugh. Mulligan owes me 20 bucks and refuses to pay it back. I suggest we dock his pay for that amount plus interest and add it directly into my paycheck, Deputy Thornton. I agree with this. Thornton doesn't remember I already paid him back by buying him lunch months ago, so don't listen to him. And definitely do not touch my pay or I'll swear to God I'll sue. The front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. And remember to wash your coffee mugs. Oh, breaking the rules yourself. I missed the, de the sync on Deerfest safety prep last time. Any updates? What's the latest on crowd control? Whoever put bayonets into the suggestion box was clearly kidding, right? Right? I understand the need. I understand that there's a need to keep the arrested folks under lock and key, but who the heck is paran the paranoid madman who decided we needed every other door in our facility to be geared with the latest high tech top security nonsense? Probably breaker. This stuff's not safe. One power outage and those locks aren't budging. I've warned you about this a half a dozen times now. Don't blame me when you're locked in with no way out. Oh, this is not where the code is. Oh, this is where the code is. The battle to regain your mind. Experience of time and other neuroscience breakthroughs. UFO Myth and Reality Part 3. UFO Myth and Reality Part 2, UFO Myth and Reality Part 1. Don't forget, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, I equals 9, J0, K1, L2. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, L, LPR, those are the only single ones. LPR? Uh, that, that's such a shot in the dark. Is there any way to narrow it down? L is 2 and P would be 6, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2, 2, 6 and then whatever? There's no way. No, it's not that. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what it is then. Am I adding it all up to make a to make a three digit number? Is 
It's got to be the books, right? Oh, part one, two, and three? Is it that? QBW? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to count forward with letters and numbers at the same time. So Q would be seven, 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 two, whatever, seven, two, whatever, seven, two, whatever. Yay. I'm sure Sheriff Breaker wouldn't mind me borrowing this. He would though. He does, he does mind. He does. All right, so now we can put sawed off shotgun uh, on the on the ground where it belongs. Oh, fucking hell. Um, I don't have enough room in my stash for it. Can I unload it first? Is that Mr. Door on the board? Which one? Oh, it is, yeah. If I ever make a proper game, I swear to God, I'm going to make the last wheel on the combination lock go up to 7 million. Wait, what are the bloody... Oh, did you stumble and you got it there? Hey, eventually it's got to be right. Alright, where's Alan? Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker. Dude, why so you angry? You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea. Let us out! You can't stop it. None of you can. We can take care of this. We've been preparing for this. Agent Young held his clipboard up to the light. The equipment was all accounted for. He ticked the boxes, satisfied. A noise on the other side of the back lot made him pause. He peered into the darkness. Nothing. Shrugging, he signed and dated the form. Estevez wanted everything ready, just in case. Young appreciated <clears throat> a cautious leader. Estevez had held it together even after the oldest house had gone dark. Young began to head inside. The local sheriff station was a tight fit, but at least they had a coffee machine. Young felt optimistic. They even had the para-utilitarian in custody already. Another clatter behind him closer this time he turned hand on his holster he called out to the darkness this station has been seized by the federal bureau of control you're not authorized to be here suddenly the lights flickered went off young couldn't see a thing then from inside the station the screams began todd howard has done it again The festival has begun. You know what, Elmo? I'm just gonna say it. Coffee world is whack. Hella whack. And your coffee isn't better than store bought. <gasps> I said it. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Who are you? Saga. Oh, it's Alan! Need the key. Here. Okay, no, don't. It's not. It's scratch. You wrote Logan into the story. 
You told me yourself. Oh, it's not Scratch. Place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. He's... My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! Is it Scratch? He's a fucking monster, Saga! Does he know? There it is. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you! Well, he's not going to be in Alan Wake 2 DLC. Looks like uh, flashlight stuns him, flares don't, or they don't do enough. How much progress would you have to lose in a game if you aren't in a game you aren't too invested in to quit it? What do you mean? He was pretending to despite what my YouTube video roster. Oh, it's the from control Nice Despite what my YouTube video roster uh, may suggest uh, I usually uh, finish while I start There must be a way to slow him down There's not Fucking cow what dude there that was weird all right put the flare down and then hit the thing I couldn't move stun locked yeah a little bit um it's uh taking a while to load huh so I hope I get it this time thank you to Contadex for the resub thank you rich Contadex thank you Sarah the Sly for the resub as well hope you're well Sarah uh, he says, as if I didn't talk to you yesterday and today. Uh, I think, <laughs> thank you, Data. I guess for the reason. <laughs> thank you, Data. I guess, and thank you, uh, Brent and Roses for the resub as well. Thank you very much. Um, if I lost, I don't know, hours of progress and I wasn't feeling the game, I might quit. Yeah, but if I was really feeling the game and I lost a lot of progress, I would probably just just uh, power through. <laughs> It's Scratch. He was pretending to be weak. The plan is fucked. Estevez, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Okay, did that, did that one go off? These must power the light away. Need to find more. Alright, there you go. He's stunned. Got one. Nice. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. So he hit me while I was doing this. So I have to know that he's going to get stunned right away and then go for it. Okay. And light doesn't really do anything. Hmm. Alright. So shoot a couple times and go for it. Uh, shoot twice, two headshots, then go maybe? I don't know. I'm not enjoying the reloads time here. This, uh... 
Hmm, maybe I'm just terrible. Also, we're over two hours, but I want to beat the boss. Try aiming and hitting. I did hit him! Hold on, let me activate the critical thinkment circuit. He was pretending to be awake. The plan Whoa. is fucked. Estevez, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit isn't trapped, but the light array should affect him. These must power the light array. There must be a way to slow him down. What? Oh, there's not one over here? Another core activated. Only one left. Doing great. Oh, shit. Thought achieved. Scratch was here. He'll be back. What the fuck do we do now? Did he take the clicker? chapter did he take it all right that really didn't feel like it was scratch that felt like alan became scratch and didn't know he was scratch either but maybe he was just a really good actor but then again we've seen from the live action sequences earlier that when he's playing alan like he's not a good actor Mortal Kombat? Yeah, good idea. Let's take a break. Be back in five minutes.
see that? Bread and Roses in the resubs. Scrungolio in the resubs. Anders Josephson in the resubs. Thank you very much. Brent and Roses, Scrungolio, and Anders Josephson. Let me uh, mute the music. It's always playing in the background, just, you know, sometimes it's muted. Oh, too quick of a fade. Okay, so I don't think... How could that have been straight up Scratch the whole time unless Scratch was lying to himself to the point that he kind of gave himself temporary amnesia? I guess that's possible. We played as him and he seemed to be genuinely concerned about KC. And if he was lying to the audience, wink wink at that point, eh, it is kind of a meta game. Mm, I don't know. He forgot. Yeah, maybe he forgot he was Scratch. Maybe he was confused when he came out. I don't know. I don't know. I uh, think you also to see Gandhi for the new sub. See Gandhi in the new sub, Zach. Thank you. All right, let's continue. He kind of forgot that he was Scratch. Wake attacked. Oh, it's turned from like Wake was attacked to Wake is the one who attacked. Wait, so you just let Ilmo out? Need the key. Uh, where's the blood? Is Yako okay? Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. Had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always scratch. Hmm. Hmm. The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me, and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. Uh-oh. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <laughs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> Got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? Well, you brought instant coffee grounds into this police precinct and we're gonna brew them without telling me? Oh, okay. There's a lot of trust here that we need to work on. The horror story's changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Wrong sometimes subtitle. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. Are you by Caseus? Like, maybe... <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. Uh, we're 10 past 10 again. All right. Casey, you know what? You still might have a chance. So tell me what I'm missing. <laughs> the FBC must know something. Good news. We have Bureau Intel on all of this. 
Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Oh. Um, thanks. Thanks. Go team. Yay! In the prison? Really? Okay, do we want to do that first for profiling? Uh, oh, let's finish talking to you Casey. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Oh, well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case if you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. Huh. Uh. Nah, that doesn't track for me at all. Possible? Nah. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. Ah, nice. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. Okay, I actually don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> I don't have uh, Saga's fortitude. I actually don't uh, know. All right, is there a shoebox in here? Kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. Same ex-wife. I smell a sitcom. Oh, I would watch that. That would be good. All right. Scratch and wake. Scratch was pretending to be wake, manipulating me. What does he want from me? No, I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. Hmm. I really thought that the clicker would only work for Alan because it was tied to the story. Ooh, what's this sound? I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. <laughs> trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. Hmm. All right, what's going to happen now? What's going to happen? All right, Bright Falls is done. Nice. This is one left in uh sorry, two left in Cauldron Lake and three left in in Watery. A little confused. Do you need a musical number to wrap it all up for you? I don't understand that. Honestly, even if the game shits the bed with the ending, I loved all this so far. Such strong direction, writing it so utterly unique for a game. Yeah, I'm still gonna come down on this positive no matter what I think. 
I think the only way that I could be veered down to negative is if, you know, he wakes up in the dark room at the end and be like, well, I guess that's how it could go. But, you know, let's see what another draft would be like. And then that's the end. You know, like, and it's like, oh, okay, cool. Thank you, fucking Alan Wake. Because like, uh, it's, you know, all a dream. Um, transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake suspected paleo-utilitarian. Utilitarian. Uh, Kieran Estevez, lead agent. Uh, Mr. Wake, you have been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date, but for now I need to ask if there is anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel, anything we may need to know. There is a force here you don't understand, a presence is after me, it wants to consume me, consume everything. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence before, why does it want you? It feeds on artists, on the art they create. It wants me because of my writing, but it can be, be any form of art, any artistic expression, music, painting, film, photography, it can feed on any of it, all of it, you have to believe me. So it's, it's, it's an, a metaphor for AI taking over uh, the artistic world. Huh. You know what? It tracks. We are well aware of this entity, Mr. Wake. We've been tracking the situation here for a long time now. You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey, make a note to redact that before submission. Let's get back on track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? I don't know, but I need it. I can't get this without it. Will you help me get it? Mr. Wake, you are in custody. <sighs> custody. Pending charges for breaching uh, of numerous federal violation codes that uh, we keep secret that no one else knows. We just make them up. We are not going to give you a suspected paranatural object. You're not expletive listening to me. Yes, that gets censored. You, We are listening just fine. Now, do you have any accomplices? Expletive you. Let me the expletive out of here. It's coming for me. We're all in danger. Interview was terminated due to subject being uncooperative. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. Through extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE-35, additional d details regarding the Shadow A-010 have been discovered. Redacted and redacted, both present during AWE, reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress and Bright Falls resident who emigrated with the filmmaker Thomas Zane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during a redacted AWE in 1970. Research staff have concluded... Okay, that's different than... The time that Dor got hit by a lightning bolt over the lake and poofed, right? That was in 1980-something? Right? That wasn't the same day, was it? I think it was different. I think that was in the 80s. Uh, maybe that wasn't even above the the lake. Maybe it was just near the lake. Research staff have concluded that Jagger's appearance is likely a case of the shadow manifesting in human form. Uh, research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. Current hypotheses are uh, the shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangen tangentially that's hard for me to say, involved in the creation of art. Uh, tangen tangential essential I can't say it, who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. The shadow can manifest as any individual contained uh, definition needed uh, within Cauldron Lake. Colonialism. Research is actively ongoing. Tangential. Tangentially. Ten Why is that hard for me to say? The lake is a gateway to the dark place. It's not a gateway. It's a door. At approximately 1900 hours on 13 September 2023, readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, a known threshold to what researchers theorize is the origin dimension of A040, the shadow past acceptable limits. Attempts to contact FBC research facility WA03, codenamed the Lake House, were unsuccessful. On-site event verification is not possible. Response procedures are initiated with immediate effect. Lead agent K. Estevez will mobilize investigation unit beta from the remote operation site is redacted uh, while uh, Chris will uh, lead uh, unit alpha alpha wolf squad all available shadow uh, specific equipment lot 411 B has been approved for use in that field uh, objectives to confirm an active event if an active 
sorry, objectives to confirm an active event. If an active AWE is occurring, the dispatch team will identify its nature and severity, limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neutralize the source. If no event is active, check monitoring equipment, perform a limited profile sweep of the area, and check status of the lake house and its staff. Additional information, relevant operatives in the area include the Cult of the Tree, Redacted, and Alan Wake currently missing. Who the fuck is Redacted? Breaker? Who the fuck else is here? Door? I don't think it can be Door. Door I don't think Door is one of their operatives, is it? It's an operative. Wait, how is Alan Awake an operative? Maybe it is Door then. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord, which part of the set, which with part of the severed cord still attached. Oh, this is cool! It's an item classification like thing from from Control, and this time it's really relevant. Oh man, I would love a game where you are a control agent that has to track down objects in the wild and figure out what they are, what they're doing. You know, just just little little episodes, kind of like X Files, getting them and everything. That would be fun. I would really enjoy that. Doesn't doesn't have to uh, link to a larger story, although if it does, that's great. But you know, just just having fun with that concept because I really like Control's concept. It was just too constrained and not creative enough with within the building. Eyewitness accounts uh, suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality, the changes being based on redacted when used by a capable para-utilitarian. Parsing this item's effect from that of the Cauldron Lake Threshold responsible for reoccurring AWEs in this in the area is difficult because the only reported uses of the item have occurred near this threshold. Without more data, we cannot confirm if the item intensifies the effect of the threshold or vice versa, or if there is no connection whatsoever. Regar uh, re Recorded, not regarded, material from Dr. Hartman after becoming a redacted have revealed that Alan Wake eliminated Barbara Jagger, likely a physical manifestation of a redacted, by inserting the light switch into his chest and flicking the switch. I wonder what this would have been like if we hadn't played the Control DLC. I wonder if we'd be like, wait, what happened to Hartman? That would be interesting. Uh, the item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality. See file AWE 35. However, it is unclear what the restrictions and limitations of this effect are. Conclusion, the light switch is a possible uh, object of power, but the oops, but the team cannot uh, conclusively classify the item based on secondhand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine classification and precise uh, and precise effect of the item. It's one of God's oopses. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the board. I saw first couple of control streams and saw Joe didn't bother to read SCP bullshit notes, which were the best part of the game for me. Should I have read more of them? Um, I felt like they were dragging the game down, and I wanted to see more of it. And then as the game didn't really do much with the environment, I was like, eh. I'm enjoying the pacing of reading this more than, than in Control. I don't know why. Wake in the clicker. Probably want this one, right? Spend time on our questions. Oh, this is done. Oh, it's not. Okay. Deduction available. Scratch or wake? Wake is trapped in the Doesn't dark place. Right. Uh, yeah, it would be. Where is wake? Isn't it? Where is Witcher Three? Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. How come Scratch and and Thomas can come out, but Wake can't? Do they have more of a handle on reality? Are they like siphoning power off of him? Has Thomas not come out that much, or is he has he not come out at all actually, and he's just rewrote reality from within there a bit? Did Tom come out? Well, he had he had a whole different life and movie and shit in this reality, but maybe that. Oh, how does that work? If you rewrite something, does that mean a version of that that entity had to have lived at some point Ooh, oh i don't know that's a tough one <clears throat> that's 
That's not right. I need to know what information I can still trust. FBC file and capabilities light switch, right? Okay, that's it. Profile someone. Oh, do we have more profiling now? That makes sense. Tor? Hi, Tor. Wait told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Okay, now we case. Go back to the case board. No. Fact versus fiction. Oh, that's still for later. Oh. Oh, damn. Uh, cult of the tree? Let's do them all just in case. Note instructing cultists. I, I think we have to go and talk to somebody. Uh, wait, hold on. What's this uh. one? Note instructing cultists to take the writer out. What, what, the, what are they trying to do? Cult goal. There we go. Uh, FPC file linking cult to activity to wake. Uh, working with somebody. Note found M and T. No. Cult members. Mulligan and Thornton. Um, the story. Clicker. <clears throat> Maybe the this clicker is amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. Yeah. Why don't you just become an artist, Saga? FPC light arrays. Uh, dark presence or light and dark presence? Makes sense. Yep, it does. I agree. The dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Okay, and the other ones aren't aren't here. All right, so that's that. So who are we gonna have to go talk to somebody? Casey, maybe. Mm, okay, here we go. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Come up with a new plan. Just just, just come up with a plan, Lameo. Just do it. Go to your mind palace and just come up with a plan. The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. Not now. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art. Not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. Okay, explain how.
I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything for good. We're gonna put on a play for Birger. Someone said there's someone else to talk to in the police station. Are you sure? Oh, there are a lot of containers we missed. Holy smokes. Wait, there's no way. How am I missing three containers around me? Yeah, there's no way. Alright, someone said talk to somebody. Oh, it's you! So, about that coffee. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yaku was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. Poor Elmo. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. Would any taken come out? We kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. Neighborhood watch style. You kill the ones who already have. Okay, if this was an anime game, I would hate this, but it's pretty good. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just a name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a uh, Oh, I'm sorry, bolt cutters. Fuck the government, man. If you want to go, okay. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake and monsters keep popping out it's all him wake and if we don't stop him no one will wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing not wake and i will stop him i've never heard of anyone called scratch you never asked <laughs> oh that, that's how that feels oh that feels good I'm oh so sorry. Oh, that feels good. Oh, what's going on over here? Anybody seen one I like emotionless about? Who knows? If it's not one thing, it's the other. I think they've got the Coscula brothers locked up in there. I saw them go in earlier. Oh, dear. Probably got them for what happened to poor Mocha the Mocha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mocha. That makes sense, though. They why, they would come to that conclusion because they don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, that's funny. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. So if there's anything you want to do... You sure you have it all figured out? This is the beginning of the end of the game. To travel to cult... To travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. Alright, um... 
I I think I want to go for it. I'm going for it. I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch, we'll try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Okay, what if everyone's busy? Okay, it's gonna be... Are they, are they gonna put on a show? I hope so. I hope so. Holy shit! We're, oh, wait, what? That was weird. Okay, um... <clears throat> Alright, move the flare over. Move the other flare over. Shotgun over. Honestly, I feel like dropping these flares. Flashbang. I think we just we're just gonna drop flares as we need space. Should we put them on quick slot uh three? One thing I'm still left wondering is the fact that Tor confirmed it's the first time they they met her after her birth, yet in the story she lived in a camper. Does this mean the camper story is fake and this Logan drowning in is fake? Or is this just miscommunicated? I don't remember what he said. Uh, maybe the story is getting to me. Um, no, I, I don't remember exactly what was said. I don't remember how it was worded. Uh, yeah, you are right, though. She Not only would she be been here, uh, she, streamed, she would have been here as an adult. So, yeah. It, it can't even be like misconstrued as like, oh, it's the first time we've seen you all growing up. Like, like no, it's. I don't know. I'd have to see. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake. About bringing him out of the dark place. What? I hope they've still got it. What are you doing? Okay. To go. Do you think that door is open now in the in the lodge? Wait, how did we miss that one? After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalan knew what he was up against. 
He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalas sabotaged the FPC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. <laughs> something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the mm. stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. Why? What was that got to do with art becoming real? All right, uh, I find it very funny that that they were breaking the station, and then when the repair tech came out, they were the ones that led them back to it to be like, "Yeah, here, fix it, fix it," and then they would come back and break it again. That's funny. Almost says the cult kills taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the taken. We're on the same side. Yeah. If the cult is killing taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party, invitation only. Wrong time, wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Yeah, that makes sense too. Why would two people being in the woods at that time make a murder cult be like, Oh no, run away! People are here! Like, yeah, they would just, you know, kill more people. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think you may be right. What about? Might have been a mistake to come here. I don't think Marcy's coming back. Uh, you, you dancing? Invisible broom? What's going on? All right. Okay, it's gonna be open. I feel it. I feel it. It's gonna be open finally. I hope this has a payoff. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's not opening. God damn it! How do you open it? How do you open it? Do you go around from the other side? Ooh. Oh god. That's our car. Been catching up on the inscription vods on YouTube. They've been super insane. Glad you're liking them. It was a good playthrough, I thought. Pick up, pick up. David, please pick up. A lot of great plays, really optimal decisions. David, David. it's me. Where have you. Stop. For once, you need to listen. Oh, it's like we're Pat. You left me. You took my daughter away from me. Then you let her. She's dead because of you. And I don't ever want to hear your voice again. Stop calling me. David! Jesus Christ. It's getting worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. These road reflections aren't doing shit, says Balder. The story's having a moment! Excuse me, Saga, I know you're crying about your, your, your dead daughter, maybe, and you might not be able to undo it, but uh, I'd like to point out that the RTX is not on. Half RTX at best. Oh, it's really raining. Okay, where are we going? Down here. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, should we go the way that we went to? In the beginning? 
It's over here, wasn't it? Man, what a journey we've been through. Is that a helicopter? Is that something on the ground? By a helicopter. Oh, for fuck's sake. Has the game ever made me cry before? Someone asked. Um, no. The only piece of media that's ever made me cry has been a song. Ooh, perfect dog. That must be torn Odin. Maybe I should check in. How did they get here? Last one out in. The bus is our hammer! I need you to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost! Odin's got a killer chorus! Come save your soul, awake new and whole. By name, a oh, tree, tree! Tree! A Call tree. the tree! Drive carefully, Grandpa. Pedal to the metal, bro. Pedal to the metal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just want to point out, whenever this question comes up, I feel compelled to say that there is there is nothing wrong with crying. I'm not one of those macho men that has toxic toxic masculinity that thinks men don't cry and that's why I say things don't make me cry. I'm just not a crier, okay? I don't think less of anyone for crying. I'm just I just don't cry very much. I don't know why. Maybe it's a problem. Maybe I'm gonna cry a lot later in life to make up for it. I don't know. I'm just I'm just not I'm just not a crier. Very rock and roll way to drive. It's probably a flaw of mine that I don't cry. Uh, more often like not all the time but like a couple times a year maybe i think that would be a healthy outlet, outlet. oh what is going on in the forest yeah this changed remember when we turned the light on there was not as much of this in a, as i thought there were going to be in in saga's world hmm maybe there was and i didn't notice it remember we we fixed the fuse box and this place got nice We're going this way. You're entitled to your responses just like others are. It's up to you if you feel like you have trouble contacting your relations. Yeah, I just... um, Absolutely. I, I don't want to make it out that I feel like my response is, is intrinsically invalid or whatever. But I also understand that... Um, many men have a problem with um, expressing their emotions and that many men also might view crying as a weakness and I just want to make it clear that's that's not why I'm saying I, I don't cry at media or whatever it's just I just not a big crier I don't want to continue to uh, like reinforce that if that makes sense you know I went the wrong way. Alright. That's fun. Was I supposed to go around? Some people say stuff like, why are you crying over fictional characters? I mean, some people say, will say stuff like, why are you wearing a jacket when it's cold? Just be cold. People can be very silly. This is the way, right? 
Oh, that's locked down now. Yes, we go this way and we go up. Okay. Uh oh. We might want to restart the game. This is not the way. It is the way. Be there soon. We never did find the stash. One, two. One, two. How you feeling tonight, cauldron? <laughs> oh, look at this. Damn. Imagine if it were retraced. Chatter, it is. It is being ray traced. The ray tracing is on. Low. And even that is so much. Miss the page? Did I? Oh there was a there was a healing station up there too. Oh there's a page back here. Just gonna keep going. Hey, where are my chimes? I threw them out. Chimes are not rock and roll. Yeah, they are. Hey, if you know how I'm to here. Use them. I'm here. Let's get ready. Anderson, we've set up a control center up here overlooking the area. Stranger things? Anderson, I could drop more gear down for you if you're running low. I'll use the lights to hit the Taken when they come. Light them up for you. Bad news is, we were in a hurry. The power supply is spotty. Your partner here will try to keep it running. But I, I'm not a damn mechanic. I wish your tech guy was here, Karen. Karen? Can I save? Kiddo, we're ready to rock and roll. Just say when. Grandpa, you signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Cauldron Wake. Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Prepare to experience <laughs> a soul searing mind fry act of black magic and sorcery. This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Ah! <laughs> You're making me look bad for the saga, bro. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Wait, I clicked! No! Oh, 
Why don't we just wait until morning? Whoa! A whole lot of paranormal crimes happening right now. It's fucking awesome. I want a t-shirt. Show strong a crowd. Taking incoming Anderson. This is gonna be hard. Do I need to clear them out methodically? Hmm. Hmm. They're gonna spawn quickly. I don't think I'm gonna be able to to heal reliably. You should have enough for another upgrade. It's weird. It doesn't say first time trying. Nice to me. Yeah. You know what? I do. Don't I? Hold on. Do we want shotgun? Under control, move faster while aiming. A whole lot of paranoid. Saga gripped the pump action uh -oh. shotgun, aiming down the barrel. It fit in her hands perfectly. It felt steady. She had it under control. She swung around ready. Stand still and aim steadily at a target to drastically reduce kickback and minimize pilot spread for increased damage. All right. The taking rush toward her, but Saga remained where she was. Unmoved. Anderson, heads up. But Alan. I'll get him into the light. The honest kiss of the should have healed while I was over there. I was afraid they were going to rush at me. Alright. Oh. Can you look at the banjo? I'm barely holding on, Shatter. I'm sorry. Okay, they're in the sky. A whole lot of paranormal crimes happening right now. It's fucking awesome. I want a T-shirt. Shows drawing a crowd. Taking incoming, Anderson. I'll light him up. Coming. 
want to heal. I want to heal. Was healing not equipped? Heal some more? No? Okay, that's weird. What the hell was that? He looked like he was doing a swing, but then he hit me with the with the bottom of the hammer. Aw, oh, damn. Alright, so that guy has to die really fast. I have to have like a full shotgun fully loaded and ready to go. I hate the rifle actually. I really am not a big fan of the rifle. It's so slow. Maybe I should use the rifle first to get rid of all the shots for that. A whole lot of crime. Are you joining the count? Yeah. It's fucking awesome. I want a t-shirt. Show's drawing a crowd. Taking incoming, Anderson. They're coming. Are you... I got him for you, Anderson. Anderson on the left. Oh, you're not... Okay, I don't understand what the fuck I want with him. I thought he was vulnerable.
Do I have a rocket player? That was pretty hard. I enjoyed that actually. Restart the yeah, it's uh taking a while to load. I think we're gonna restart. Parliament Tower. It was back. Is the game a bit loud or is your quiet? Uh the game is very loud in um those loading sections. Alan Wake. All right, so uh, we are going to restart the game because sometimes when it when it changes between um, chapters, it will um, it starts to run kind of kind of choppy. So let's exit the main menu. We're gonna restart the game, and while it reloads, I'm gonna go pee real fast because I kind of need to pee, and it's gonna take a second to reload. So why not do that? You're back.
It's not a sink. It's a toilet. Thank you, Christelf, for the resub thing, or Christelf. I don't know when that came in. Uh, what were we doing 41 minutes ago? I'm not sure. Thank you, Christelf, for the resub. And thank you, and Singular VOD Enjoyer, also for the resub. Tier 3 as well. Damn. Thanks so much. Yeah, that was a much faster loading. Okay. So here we go. Possibly the last area. What's in the shoebox of, uh, of life? Um... Man, the shotgun kind of sucks. Uh, flare gun's so good, though. Should we take some flashbangs? Yeah, let's take some flashbangs. Alright, I think that's it. We have two hand flares, some flashbangs. There we go. Uh, thank you to Dead Rot or Dead Roadie for gifting me Oh, it's 50! I saw five and I was like, five. holy shit, that's so many. Thank you, Dead Roadie. Or Dead Rote. Dead Rote? Like Dead Note? I on my screen, it's Dead Rote is gifting 50 tier 1 subs to Anderson JPH community. They've gifted total 50 in the channel. And then before it gets to it, it's The Balder. Crazy how Remedy had a whole animated logo for Northlight and Quantum Break, but this game doesn't use it. And then all of the gift subs. How did you even do that? Damn, 50. Holy crap, thank you so much, Dedro. Hope you uh, enjoy the announcement on the weekend. Alright, let's do flashbangs with the shotgun. Uh, flares with the flare gun. Uh, only three weapons for Alan. Did we miss a weapon? Hmm. Alright. Only been able to watch about half of the stream and none of this one is sort of shaping up to end well. Is it starting to falter? No falters yet. One possible thing that I'm kind of like, hmm, I wonder where that's going. But uh, yeah, everything else is, um, notice the demolition is holding up well. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different, like my last chance. It wasn't already too late. Gone. Initiation nine. Nobody lived here anymore. Was I too late? Get to the writer's room. Blessed? Get to the writer's room. Sit down. Objective pops up. Now finish the Witcher 3 video. Go. Remember Bless Pictures from Control? Oh, I do! I do remember! I do! Yeah, I remember that part in the game where they showed up. Yep. It was right at that part, yeah. And we said hashtag bless. Oh, that's not it. Okay. The scratch was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. He's not, I though. I needed to get inside. Full screen for this one. I think Alice is about to get murdered. It won't end. Like a nightmare, I 
I can't wake up from. I thought I could contain Ellen in my photos, but I can't. The monster just keeps coming back. Every night. Like waves hitting the shore. I'm so tired. He's here all the time now. Is this someone behind her? There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. decision most of you won't understand she's really good people call me an artist but I don't care about any of that I just wanted to show the world what I see I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Alice Wick took her own life shortly after completing her work on The Dark Place. She will be missed, but will live on through her art. What follows are her final photographs. Is she at the lake? scratch this was me caught in a loop I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript I was the one haunting Alice it was always me I killed her Better not be credits when I hit spacebar. 
Better not be credits when I hit spacebar. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, it is a very cinematic game, and what is more cinema than a trilogy? Has a scratch. Are you okay? Oh, no, it's my fault. He got out with my face scratch. That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this the summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. He's here. Scratch. Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake, with the Dark Presence inside him. He wants the Clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it. And blast it with all you got. He's in here, close it. He's in here, close it. Now, Estevez, the light. <laughs> what lights? Shit, he's free. Lost the lights. Oh, Anderson. what the fuck? He's coming. No rush. No rush. Where's the other one? What's over there? Where's the gear? Oh, it's oh. Anyway.
Okay, is it another one? This one's not done. Okay. It just goes to show you how bad writers are at improv. I'm sorry. No, I Wait. couldn't edit. No. You? Oh, I'm so sorry. Did it work? Wendy Two Davis is dead? Is canceled. No! Today, bright Falls feels a little less bright. He's not Sam Lake, he's Sam Motion. Plus two Balder. How long have you been selling that one for? Alright, here we go! For the second time today, for the second time today, please no credits when we hit spacebar. All right. Tom, we need to get to our next game. The hell are we wearing? We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom. I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Well, they're dead. So, um, this is a compliment and criticism in one. Uh, that was the first bad scene of the game. And it was a, that was pretty bad. Gameplay perspective, that was really bad. Um, story perspective, let's see where it goes. But gameplay, that, that, that was, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I hope they pull it back. That was pretty bad. Can I have some ammo, please? Oh, my weapons. Welcome back, Wake. Hey, how's it going? You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? For now. Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. That was a bad one, yeah. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. Still should. The only question now is... 
Are you able to fix this? I can try. I need typewriter and advance in answer, six months. We'll make it work. Okay. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the dark presence is occupying Agent Casey. When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he is the clicker. Okay, so that explains why Alan was Alan and then was Scratch. So Dark Presence brings out... Yeah, we kind of knew that already from the first game. That makes sense. That follows. In American Nightmare, though... <laughs> <laughs> but that was probably just a, a dream sequence. That was all make-believe land, right? So even though there were two entities in American Nightmare. Um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. These what? I wish I could help, but this is all on you. Woo! Oh, the injury, I got you yeah. every kind of weapon we have available. How are you even standing? Th th this Don't is it. Fuck it up. A revolver, a flare gun, and a shotgun. Okay. I broke it, sorry. I don't know if I'm just tired of possession plots like Evil Twin is in the most original angle for an evil entity, but I much prefer it over this. Also, it can jump back into Alan still, because we, we, should, we should contemplate shooting Alan if we're not sure. Yeah, I don't know where this is going. Is Was the Dark Presence... What what Does it manifest differently in every single person? Like, whatever made Alan turn into Scratch, was that also the thing that was making um, Barbara be Evil Widow jump around her? Like, hmm... Hmm, hmm. Alright, where are we going? Do we have a map? We don't have a map. Do we have the... Oh, we don't have mine place either. Okay. Can we jump up here? No, we don't have that unlock yet. Uh, something about a car. It was drowned out though. Shit. The audio can break here and you won't talk. May want to reload? Uh oh. Hold on, let's see if he talks. I was awake again clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. <laughs> I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Hmm. Do we think Alice is actually dead? I kind of think so. Oh, it's the tree. Broken door. Let's 
So is Breaker just in there by himself now? Uh-oh. I love how we're all so collectively conditioned into video game stories having bad endings that we were all bracing for credits twice then at a really bad spot. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, well, I don't have a map, so I, f I don't know where to go. Should I have gone back to the house and, and saved it? Probably. That was not good. went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over and weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. It turned me into scratch. It is windy. Oh shit, I forgot the keys. I had to get to Bright Falls. See this through to the end. All right, let's go back and get it. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga. Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. Quantum Break is not in this in this world. I think the main character has been in it several times. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. 
I'm starting to get worried the credits are going to show up again. Your fest? Alan Wake Return, the much anticipated sequel to Departure and Initiation. Deer Fest. Oh, nice. The stage this is in Departure not is what I expected. Absolutely mind frying Dark Ocean Summoning. Wake deftly tricks the reader into believing the cult of the tree is the story's antagonist. Eh. Is it bugged? The trilogy's exciting conclusion at I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. Well, triangle, where's the... I was inside Scratch's ending. Okay. A perverse version of reality. Return. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything mind. revolved around Return. As if it had just been published. Is everyone here in a mask? It's kind of eerie. I like that it's quiet. From the victim's point of view. Confident move by a veteran author. <laughs> um, I like that it's eerie and quiet, but if it feels like there should be people responding to her, but I guess not. I guess everyone's going to be talking as you walk through. This motherfucker is a home run. Great American novel. Alan Wake knows his fans and never lets them down. Return is sold a out. Binding tour de force. Ten dollars. From terrifying supernatural dimensions to the quirky fun of Deer Fest, Return's tone is flawlessly executed. Hello, I'm Ilma Koskela, and welcome to the Koskela Brothers Book Club. This week, we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium and a Finally, an objective review. Lamination ...that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. <laughs> this book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. <laughs> Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. Some of you feel bad for Ilmo, and I'm one of them. Who's cooking? Oh, now it's noisy. What? The dog 
novel begins as a murder mystery but pulls the rug out from under and turns into an all-out supernatural horror. Yeah, me too. Okay. I like this. This is fun. Oh, talk about how it should be quiet. I didn't understand what was going on half the time, but I loved every word of it. Where are we going? Oh. The cutout! I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That door! You're, you're, you're kidding, right? You're kidding, right? This, this, this is a duck. No, I'm supposed to die a couple times and then haha, we got you? No? Really? Okay. Don't go in there. Do I have a weapon? No, I don't. All right, run through. Did it. Or, or, bear with me. Take the axe. I could write my ending to return. Okay. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Oh, we're gonna go into the spiral room. Whoa, that was weird. All right, invisible wall here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, 
Okay. Have to go through this side. Another way inside. I'm gonna sneeze. Phew. Sorry about that. Okay, now that I've done that, can I get through a different door? No. Now can I get through this one? No. Well, I'm fresh out of options. Do I have to go through the hospital? Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? writing there. Very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. Oh my god, Alan, for the love of god, pick up pick up on what she's putting down right now, or else or else oh no. Oh no. Wait, what what if it was Alice doing that the whole time? In the radio? In the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Alan! Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what no. I can. Right. No map. Any pages around here? Probably not, right? Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We loop around and come to Ketertom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Pileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. 
Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. <laughs> Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. Thank you, Ati. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ati. Ah, the windows. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. Global deer fest? I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. <gasps> Casey? Oh, wrong side. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. So can I see outside now or? No, it's the same. I thought we were underwater the whole time. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. Okay. Back to Saga. Oh, oh they switch dark places. What's going on? It's not a mind place. It's Am I in a the dark field place. Office? No. It's the mind place. 
Nothing's working. I can't think straight. But it was yellow. Can we exit? I can't leave. Ooh. Why can't I leave? What if we try the door? Calm down, Saga. Just think. I can't sense anyone. Figure it out on the board. This is neat. Like I always do. My work is gone. The dark presence took over. Where did my work go? Stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? How do I leave? You failed them. What's happening to the case board? I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. Find evidence. Uh, thank you to Ninja Creeper 47 for the resub before we get into this. Uh, that came in at some point during the finale. I'd be mean to say thank you for all. Thank you, uh, Ninja Creeper 47. Okay, wait, what? Uh, profile. Oh, other saga. The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Yeah, you should have known you were going to get pulled into some sort of supernatural story. Yeah, you should have known. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. You're a terrible partner. It's your fault that you got hurt. I'm a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. What the hell? Logan died because of you. You were a terrible mom. Yourself. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. You fucked everything up. She's dead because of you. Casey is a monster now. Something's very fucking wrong here. Scratch. He's using Casey now. Like he used Wake. The story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. Logan is dead. Uh, here, right? She's not dead. God damn it. Oh, is it just gonna fill up with that? Oh, no. Oh. I mean, that's agonizing, but that's really cool. Oh, it's getting uh, darker as it goes. More faded. Look at that. No! I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. 
You're the only one who won't accept she's dead. What makes more sense? Everyone is wrong, or you are. If you hadn't been at work, she'd still be alive. She died alone and scared, begging you for help, and you weren't there. As the water filled her lungs, she realized you weren't coming. Oh, man. Can you even still call yourself a mother after you let your only child die? You're blaming a horror story instead of yourself, you coward. Admit she's dead and you killed her. You killed her. You killed her. Uh, here? No. Your fault you got hurt. What's happening? Casey's gone and it's your fucking fault. Wait, what's still to do on the case board? Cases? There's another one? No. Uh, what? Why do you hate me? Okay, I don't know what to do. Shit. It says there's something to do in the case board, but there isn't. Get to click on something? I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. Okay, I think I've clicked on everything, so it's not here. Is there something profiling after all? Oh, the TV's different. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. I never should have trusted these. The dog's a mare. Casey was being corrupted and I did nothing. Subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and, and events. Concussion, similar symptoms to those becoming shady individuals. Social shadow is suspected but not confirmed. You knew he was hurt. You knew that our presence did something to him. You didn't care. You only pretended to care when it was convenient. And the second he became a liability, you let Scratch have him. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? Mr. Wake, you've been taken into FBC custody and will receive an indefinite interrogation later date. But now any task is anything you tell us regarding the hotel. We read this earlier. Uh, yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. There were so many hints to how did you miss this wake was scratch. It was right under your nose. Wake was scratch, scratch, was wake, scratch, wake, scratch, wake, scratch, scratch, wake. There's no way out. This case, this room, is any of it even real? This has all been a hallucination. Can we leave? I don't think so. Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. The text on the page and the text in this in the uh, thing are different. Oh, is this the originals and the um, the transcript is different? Okay, so Casey was injured and I left him behind. Uh, you... Wait, what? This has all been a hallucination. What is this? I had no idea. Terrible detective. This isn't... What? It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. Use manuscript pages as a crutch instead of doing my job. What the hell? Come on. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. Spiral? It's not a spiral, it's a whirlpool. I spent too much time away from Logan. Thank you, Lee. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. 
Uh, these weren't here before, so as I'm putting more on, uh... Logan. The horror story used her. When I put enough on that, that um, Saga said something, uh, I'm guessing more spawned in the room. You're a terrible mo You lost your mind. That's not... No. I've been in my partner to investigate on my own. You're a terrible detective. No, you don't care. Terrible partner. What? No. Logan was alone. Terrible mom. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. But I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. A way out. Casey was wrong to put his trust in me. Fuck, no! I can't do this! Two more of that. Oh, there's one more of that! Still a bunch more to get, okay. Hold on, is there st more stuff around the room now? Scratch was too much for us. I should have made Casey stay behind. Was this here before? That wasn't. More stuff is spawning in the room as we go, for sure. My badge. Never should have taken this case. No. I'm not reading anymore. Oh, there's so much more now. I think. I can't do this. It's too much. It's crushing me. I'm lost in this darkness. If I put too much on the board, do I get a bad end? Because I have profiling to do. Ooh. That would be fun, huh? You completely, um, like, lose it because you, you focus too much on the negative. That got me. You gotta toughen up, chat. Come on. No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh, God. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. The Scratch Saga British? I need Seek. a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this yeah. is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. If this deer starts talking and becomes our friendly spirit animal, don't worry, Saga, I'll show you the way out. Wait, what? Follow me, Prince, Prince, Prince. Oh, the lights. No, no, I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. So. This sequence has been uh, fantastic so far. I really like this. Hey, mom. I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back. I hear the rain. Just calling to say thanks 
in your note. Oh, sometimes I just get in my head too much. So, thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, Mom. Really. Okay. Talk soon. For what's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing what you do. You do what you love. I remember seeing this card before. What you're great at—that will teach you so much. There will be times just like this one. You question your choices, your competence, even your own sanity. So when things get dark, remember you to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. I love you always, Mom. Anderson, uh, look, look. After Brand left, it was uh, well. I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragging, dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family. Uh, it really uh, meant a lot. Aw. Why am I, why am I being Joan? Oh, the lights are coming back on. I saw this online and it made me think of you. Okay, what are you doing? Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom. No hugs, no hugs. I am honored by this award. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. Yeah. Is it though? Ah, now we're gonna break it. I'm not a terrible detective. I can't let this place make me question myself. Nice. I know what I'm doing. No idea what I'm doing. I'm not a perfect mom, but I'm doing my best. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. It's no one's fault. Fault. It is, it is. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. Can I pause it? I'm afraid. I can't. My own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. Lamayo, well, my, my daughter was just being nice when she brought me that gift. But that's, but that's exactly how like toxic intrusive thoughts manifest, right? Like this is this is good. Just like Alan Wake One was good at the end of the DLC when you realize that like the darkness like preys on that really like miserable tendency toward like like isolation and 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 shit that like just creeps in into everyone, and like this is good. Like I I don't even say that she she thinks these things like often. I actually think that Saga is 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 incredibly confident and incredibly self uh, uh uh, assertive self-assertive she's she's a very confident assertive character um and yet she still has these thoughts lurking inside her head right like and and the darkness will pull them out of anybody yeah so this is good logan isn't anyone's plot device she's my daughter and she's not dead self-assured yeah I'm dead she is dead i didn't save her Native English speaker, by the way. B been fucking had four hours of sleep, by the way, after like having like three hours the night before or some shit. I don't even know how much sleep I've gotten. It's okay to be afraid, but I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me, Casey needs me. 
I would like to read these. Don't kick me out. Okay, good. Profiling. All right. This is a dark place. I'm in danger. I have to get out of here. Uh, I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. I haven't failed them, I'm, and I'm not, and I'm not going to. There's still time to fix this. You are a tiller partner. I might not always be the best partner, but Casey trusted me. He wouldn't give up. And neither will I. Casey's still in there. I'm sure of it. It's not. It's your fault he got hurt. I wish I'd been there for Casey, but I know he wouldn't want me to blame myself for this. We can't control every outcome. He taught me that. You've lost your mind. I haven't lost it, at least not yet. This is all real. This place wants me to doubt myself, but I can't. I still have work to do. You are a terrible detective. If I were a bad detective, I'd probably be dead by now. Blaming myself for past mistakes won't solve the case. Logan died because of you. My daughter isn't dead, and I won't let some bullshit story convince me that I let her die. You are a terrible mom. I might not be the perfect mom, but I've done my best logan loves me and i love her i really like the format here putting like all the evidence stacking against it and then blocking it here with this i'm so close the dark place wants me to hate myself but i just need to get inside my own head i've made mistakes i'll make more but i can do better and i can start by leaving this room I'm afraid it will hurt, but nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt, but I will fight. Tor and Odin gonna bust through the room. The dark place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. The dark place tried to use my fears, anxieties, guilt to trap me here to get back to Bright Falls. I'll have to dive even deeper. I won't give up. You know, Alan Wake was full of self-doubt and the dark place demolished him. Saga comes in and just destroys the dark place. Yeah, and I think that's why Scratch became a, um, a very powerful entity because Alan was full so much of that and didn't have the confidence that uh, Saga has. At least that's what I think right now. Hmm. Oh, shh! Oh, weapon upgrades! Oh, that's good! Yes, yeah, that's some greater weapons. Hey, Alan. Bring us home. Uh, oh, should we get some rifle ones, even though? Bullets penetrate the enemy's darkness shield. Hey, Alan. Saga gripped the pump-action shotgun, aiming down the barrel. It fit in her hands perfectly. It felt steady. She had it under control. She swung around, ready. Mom's spaghetti. The Taken rushed toward her, but Saga remained where she was, unmoving. She willed the pellets to stay on course, to hit the target. The Taken was closer. She waited. Closer. Still, she waited until the very last moment. And then she got hit and had to reload. Happens to the best of us. Oh, we missed some of Pat's show. I wonder if some of them were bugged then. Were they bugged? Hmm. Oh, we got all of the, uh, the TV ones. That's good. How are we doing on manuscript pages? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't show you. I knew we were going to step through the store. I knew the... was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Close case. Scratch. This looks more real somehow. Hello? It's me again. You need to go to the 
statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. The ending? A shoebox? Who is this? Jesse? That's Alice, it's not Jesse. Agent Anderson. Is that really you? My name. Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orland Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there are many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. It describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Not again! <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. <laughs> here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. I'm waking. Dor walked across the rain slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I don't think he's gonna enjoy us doing that. Borlandor walked across the rain slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. The rain didn't seem to touch him. He sensed his steps were being observed, documented into the story. He allowed it, this one time for this one reason, to be passed on by his unwilling disciple to read at the right time. The ocean that was the dark place took the shape of New York City, drawn for the mind of Alan Wake, in part for the writer to navigate his prison, in part to torment him as he struggled to find his way out. Dor was not bound by the rules as Wake was. He came and went as he pleased. For now, Dor entertained the writer's fantasy, for a purpose known only to him. At the edge of the plaza, he stopped at the door to the construction yard, a poster for his talk show hung there. Another part of Wake's fiction. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warlandor. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. This isn't important right now. I can look into it later. 
No, we'll do it now. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities. Here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Are we a real fake door, though, or a fake real door? Hmm. Alright, so we want to go to the construction thing for the plaza, right? I... oh... Said something about... Over there, wasn't it? No, 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 it's not... No, okay, I'm bad. Sorry. Uh, uh. Can we interact with the light? Will it even let us get there? Uh, slip right by you there. No? Thanks. Alright, construction, right? It was construction? Yeah, there we go. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending, the departure. There is light and there is darkness. There's, there's guilt and there's atonement, but the scales always need to balance. Everything has, it's not a lake, it's an ocean. I think we read that one before. Yeah, so this is still Alan's. Hmm. <laughs> so in the, in the last stretch, you go through Alan's place as Saga, and you go through Saga's levels as Alan. That's interesting. Okay, I, I'm not really happy that you're giving me... Oh, shit. Where, where are all my flares and health packs? Where's my King Frost? I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. It's raining in here. That's neat. Because it isn't a Bethesda game, I know it's on purpose. You let me drown. You pushed me. Enough already. <laughs> I love her so much, chat. Oh man, it's so refreshing to play a character in a game. That has this this kind of mindset. Oh man. Oh, there it is, right? I love how little tolerance she has for supernatural bullshit, and yet she is supernatural bullshit. Hmm, how curious. Oh no, it was the statue, wasn't it? I am very intelligent. There's the shoebox. The clicker. And the some kind of bullet. Shining with light. Show me how the bullet the of light. Get here from Washington.
where is it? Okay, let's take inventory, literally. Uh, escape the dark place. How? Go through the building? I'm gonna guess yes. Did I miss a prompt? You know how? After all this time, how could you not? Pulls out gun and unloads entire magazine into the back of her head. Whoop, didn't work. All right, what, what now? No, I don't know what to do. Sorry to ruin the moment here, chat. Is there another door somewhere? Let's see. Oh, there we go. The phone again. Yes? Hello. You don't know me, but you need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? We need to okay. talk. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to contact him. Let's go back to that light before we do that. place I've reached out to you like this before but I understand more about it now you see a visions too I used to think they were ideas inspiration but they're real just like this now I try to use them to make the story come true so this is coming from both of us maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps we could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. Dude, just write! I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. Unless we just change it into a musical. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. That was a cool shot. In a horror story, they're only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. Oh. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. Yeah, there we go. All right. 
isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. And yet... I can write that into the ending, to drive that fucking thing out of him. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. Do I hear a typewriter? This is not your ending. I, I think it is. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Together. Then let's bring it home. Hmm. I wonder if these should have just automatically played. Played. Hmm. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. Roll credits. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. Okay, so we didn't see their plan, which means it's gonna work. I need to retrace my steps back to Caldera Street Plaza. Enter the fountain. I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too. All right, are we gonna like it here or or back down there? Hold on, let's go check this one just in case. I think we have to go back down there, but we'll see. Yeah, that's a statue, not a fountain. Okay, I don't even need to go back there. Well, that's what we agreed on. Kind of a weird ending, but that's what we went with. Let me just use the clicker. Lock it in. Lock it in. Do I have any healing? Maybe I should heal. No. So there's a problem with the end. You don't. I can't let the horror story take Logan. So the ending. Man, Joe just does not respect stories well, and games at all. Has to fit this. This isn't Scratch's end. The ending will have to be dark. I need to retrace my steps back to Caldera Street right, Plaza. Do we have any heal? Oh, we do have healing. Okay. I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too. Okay, if I run away from the light and then go back into the light, will you save it? Maybe. Okay, 
this time, we're just gonna book it right past them. Pills! The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. Show me I feel the like I've always been light. on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. <laughs> And I will see. Can I see? The end. Scratch it. Now! <laughs> a white searing light of truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. of shadows fool us all subterfuge to get our price of admission darkness not as a monster but as emptiness but none the wiser no answers no truths the hero turns to look inside it's destroyed by what he sees and is redeemed saga said we're both heroes i'll pay that price so will she we are here to kill the monster i pray nothing comes after this nothing will sleep this is how we win is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place, another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning? The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around, back to the... Is he gonna turn and say cut? Logan says, Madam President. Ooh. Sam Lake, Sam Lake, Sam Lake. Center! Mark's axe. There's a post credit scene, don't skip. Of course there is, it's a movie.
Please start praising the game after these. I can't. It's credits. I, I can't talk during credits. It's illegal. You can fast forward. Can you fast forward the credits at a movie theater? No, you can't. This is the experience Kojima wanted. This is the experience we're all gonna sit and have. Do, 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 do. You can leave. Hit the bricks. Just leave. Everyone speaks during the credits of the theater, Joe. What the hell you want? No, I can't speak during the credits because the copyright claims. The credits almost always get claims on YouTube. And on Twitch sometimes, too. Anyone here live, this is the only time anyone will ever hear this. Get your mouse off the screen? Okay. Okay, it's telling me I can speed up. Let's speed up. Anyone else get to the levels in Super Mario Wonder where the Wonder Seed is like, Oh, you just- it's just sped up or it's slowed down. Ha ha ha, aren't we so quirky? Okay, very good, Nintendo. This was a freebie, huh? Yeah, just a normal level. This part is just for you. Scratch Alice? After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and... Something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake. A dark ocean with, with echoes of myself. My, my, my fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light. Your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. She's smart. That is why I put on this exhibition. Fuck. I had to mislead you. So that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension. Light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see. The light you need to see. Until you're ready. Ellen. I think we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. Yeah! Oh, we had a first credits. Let's have a second credits. Is there a second post credits scene? Oh, please. Oh, please. There was discord. Discord. Some post credits scene. It's an epilogue.
Oh, nice messages. Big Island. Let's go again. All right. Uh, be right back. Uh, one minute. back i cleared i cleared my comments with my lawyer uh my lawyer suggested in the interest of uh of transparency that i say thank you to uh donations and resubs first thank you to dcross 950 for the resub thank you to dcross 950 thank you zero vault for some more bits neighbor of the bit ah 665 very nice thank you very much zero vault and thank you personal sheep also for the resub thank you very much personal sheep um all right so uh, I didn't like the ending. Uh, I really love the game. And the I don't hate the ending. So the ending has not ruined the game for me. I think it could have come close. To. Um, to ruining the game. But it didn't. So I don't like it. I don't hate it. I think it has some. some good qualities. But I don't like the ending. Um. I might, the ending might grow on me, I don't know. Usually I have to play things twice and see what was set up ahead of time and everything, I don't know. Uh, but right now, having fresh at the ending, I don't like it. Uh, but I also felt that way about Outer Wilds. I didn't like the ending of Outer Wilds, right, right the story there. I felt very mixed on it. And now I really, really like the ending of Outer Wilds, so I don't know how that, how that goes. Um, so I don't know how this is gonna go the same way. Um, so here's why I don't like, I don't like the ending for many reasons. But the main one I can think of right now to explain it is that they, throughout the whole entire story, they pretty much wrote themselves into a corner. And then the last scene is just the two of them going, eh, but what if we just wrote ourselves out of the corner, Lamayo? Okay, let's do that. And then they just wrote themselves out of the corner. So I feel, like Alan even says, and this is why I feel a bit mixed on it. Alan even says, was that too easy? And it does feel too easy. They said they have to earn it, and I don't feel like it was earned. Especially since he wakes up at the end, alive. And it's like, it's not a loop, it's a spiral. Which is a really cool way of ending it and everything. And I, and I really like that they had another one like that. Uh, that makes sense, and it's, it's funny. But it's also kind of like, <gasps> you know? Like, what does that mean? Although I think it makes more sense than it's not a, like it's an ocean. Like it, it's not like it's an ocean it does make sense to me. Some amount of sense, but, but yeah. Um, so let's get some of the easy ones out of the way first. Uh, gameplay surprisingly grew on me. It, it has the, the dodging and shooting, you know, if, if you can get some good game feel and some good sounding guns, ju just the basic concept of shoot for the weak spots and mostly headshots is can be satisfying. And the guns feel good in this game. Uh, ammo is pretty 
tightly controlled. I like the dodge. I didn't like some of the fumbling you can do when you run out of battery and she replaces the battery and she doesn't pull it up. I think Alan can do that too, but it didn't seem to happen as much with Alan as it did with Saga. Um, I wonder if maybe there wasn't enough incentive to do combat once i realized that enemies would just spawn in areas i just was like it's not worth the resources to me i'm probably going to spend more resources killing them and that i'm going to get from uh from killing them and then i get to the next area and there's probably going to be more ammo from boxes because i'm low and it's like eh, why uh, whatever who gives a shit um and in these games i try to play as I would, rather than just knowing the game's going to give me more ammo later. That might be a flaw of mine. If you feel differently, then go for it. But to me, I would rather not be like, well, I know the game's going to give me more ammo later, so who gives a shit? Just use it all. Like, I would rather be like, no, I want to conserve. I want to like feel that, that stress on resources, that sort of thing. Um, but I do think that if they if they gave you a lot more ammo and there was a lot more uh, enemies in, in some like fighting arenas i think that the gameplay might have more shine more time to shine so i'd be interested to see what they do in dlc because alan wake 1 was so much better with dlc so i'd like to see that but this was definitely way better than alan wake 1 gameplay um it was again i feel like my initial thoughts are, are about this not really that changed uh it is one step above serviceable maybe a step and a half to two steps it's it's decent to good you know th that last gauntlet where you're fighting all those enemies it was a fun time it was pretty stressful didn't run very well so maybe um that impacted my enjoyment a little bit but you know i i enjoyed the gameplay i liked the exploration i liked the puzzles um the visuals of the game added a lot to that as well the environments were very similar in this one just like the first one for saga's end and also alan's end both of both of the environments you both go through it's either just city and buildings or it's just forest and forest adjacent things um forest on the lake and uh i didn't really get tired of it because the game just looked so good uh and i think they played with more times of day that you're instead of always being nighttime when you're fighting the enemies sometimes it was dusk sometimes it was dawn um you know it's it's supernatural darkness that still has some light uh so i thought that was good the game was like visually gorgeous it was very creative um um, sounded good. So I think those are the easy ones to get out of the way. Uh, so story, I don't know, man. I, I love how it was presented. I love the quality of writing. If I was to compare this to a book, I would say that the prose is great, but maybe the plot isn't. Is that prose versus plot thing again? I think the plot was great for most of it. And the characterization of everyone except for Alan, maybe, although Alan's situation is very interesting, um, was quite good. Uh, I think a flaw of the game is that it has to build on Alan Wake 1. And at the same time, it's kind of charming, and that constraint of like, look, we have to follow from a game we made a long time ago that has story that writing that might not be up to our standards. Um, there's something probably very creatively taxing about that, and sometimes, often actually, someone who is creative will flourish under the constraint constraint breeds creativity instead of like having full freedom to do whatever you want you have to be like like no i have to tie it to these certain elements and that makes you be like okay how do i solve these problems and because you're solving those problems sometimes that can lead to some really creative things and, and some really cool solutions and some cool bits of writing and plot um so maybe there's some benefit from that but uh, like the first flaw i can point out is that alice is a completely different character it's not even character development she's a completely different character than what she was in alan wake one that is not the same person just absolutely not even the same person whatsoever and she's so much more interesting in this game she has so much more agency she has so much more depth to her character she's not just like this this like i'm afraid of the dark damsel that she was in alan wake one um and i really like that it's it's way better but it also doesn't ring true it's like where the fuck is this coming from you know what i mean like what what even is alan and alice's relationship anymore because for, before it seemed like the, it was like a very kind of shallow you're my muse but i'm really wrapped up in my own issues and shit and i don't know and alice is just kind of here and then you see more from her side in this one but it's kind of coming out of nowhere for me and alice i don't know i i kind of feel like maybe she's going to be more in the dlc or something i really like the alice parts in this but it was almost like i was seeing a continuation of a different game um uh i don't know and that is connected to the writing in a corner thing it felt like this whole entire game was just how do we write our way out of the ending we had in the first game while also trying to make everything canon at the same time but also kind of not canon because it's it's in the the dark place and then at the very end they just sit in the room and just kind of let's just do it lamayo and then he wakes up and nothing has really changed 
He's still there. It's still the loop, although it's a spiral. What we're gonna go again and do better this time? It feels like it feels like we're in the exact same place that we were at the at end of Alan Wake One. Now Alice is in there, I guess. So we know a little bit more about Alice. We have more more people on the field, but also no, not really. We know more about Scratch. We know more about the Dark Place. Everything to do with um, Breaker and Door was really interesting, and and Door got a lot of time, and Ati as well. I was expecting more of that to develop toward the end, and then as we got to the end here, I was like, oh, it's not. That's for next time. Okay, all right. I can I can vibe with that but at the same time i wish that the ending was a bit more conclusive now maybe the dlc will do that maybe in another reality um joe didn't play alan wake 2 until two years afterwards and is playing the dlc in 2025 and is like you guys have to wait for this dlc for all this all this shit what the fuck like whoa, whoa holy fuck i'm so glad i waited like just like alan wake 1 i was i don't know but I'm a little let down. Just a little. I love the quality of the writing here. I love the presentation. It had so many cool moments. I love Saga. Like, like, I don't know how she's going to fit in with um, most memorable video game characters, but she's already in one of the upper tiers, I would say. Um, I really, really enjoyed that sequence at the end where she's in the mind place and she's piecing it together. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. Sorry. Uh, 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 uh. The whole Alan is Scratch thing didn't land for me, and maybe that's why I'm not enjoying the ending. It's just kind of like, oh. And then he's just Casey for no reason. It feels kind of rushed, right? I thought it was going somewhere with, uh, with more purpose. Like, look, the revelations of this is the ritual to lead you on, that was more purpose purposeful writing to me and more of a, oh, fuck moment. Holy shit. I felt like I was in the hands of, of, a, of a masterful writer at that moment that knew how to toy with me and, and was leading me on and, and, was, and was, look at the revelations I'm giving you. Where is this going? And then followed that with... Yeah, Scratch and Alan are the same person, kind of, but also it's a dark entity that can just shift between one and the other, and Alex Casey is there, and now also they're just going to go into the writer's room and just be like, no you on the typewriter, and then I win GG. It's like, wait, what? Is this the same thing? So it just feels... I don't want... The quality of writing was so high that I don't think that that's exactly what happened, but I'm sitting here just thinking this is just set up for Alan Wake 3 in the next one, which is what I was really starting to worry about as we got through this game, that it wasn't going to end with anything conclusive and it's just going to be, oh, you know, drink your Ovaltine, motherfucker, here's the next one. And that is what's happening. Not the worst thing in the world, you know? Trilogies are very common, DLC, but I am a little disappointed and I just want to be upfront about that. You know what I mean? Thoughts on the bullet of light? That kind of came out of nowhere too, right? Would you describe it describe it as I loved it, do better? That sounds kind of self-important. I agree with the overall feeling. I loved it. I wish it was better, sure. Or, or continue, do better. But, eh. I'm not Kratos. Worth mentioning the creativity and novelty of this game is a plus to take the segments to talk the talk show live action. Uh, the musical, yeah, etc. Yeah, very creative. The detective parts, someone in chat was saying during the saga part at the end that this is the only time that they thought the detective part worked, and I completely disagree. I, I enjoyed it throughout the whole entire game. I, I thought it was neat. I like the presentation. I like that you can go back there and settle yourself. There's there's a lot of ways that you that you start to feel like the characters. You feel like Saga because you have this. I'm gonna go back and I'm just going to reassert reality, my my grasp on reality. I'm looking at the board. I'm putting it all up there. Look, it 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 goes along with her character too. I I have a very firm grasp on reality and facts. I am a very objectively driven person or objective driven person. I know what I need to do. And she's also an FBI FBI agent, so that's uh, uh, that matches with her as well. And you get to feel that as you just continually just 
like go through it all and be like i know this i'm reminded i know this i know this i know this um and, and with alan you feel the, conf the confusion as well where you're just kind of riffing you and you you're writing and then the scene changes around you and you have no idea what's going to happen along with alan he's just like oh gee i wonder what's going to happen now let me just follow the thread let me just go here let me just see let, let me feel confused let me drop into a scene without even realizing how i got there i'm i'm doing shit that has consequences and i'm doing it without even understanding that there's consequences but both halves of the game um make you really uh harmonize with with the lead characters and i like that a lot it's, it's a really big achievement in addition to having a very high quality of writing very witty uh a lot of moments that are, are funny and thrilling at the same time a lot of moments that are that are horrifying and funny at the same time a lot of click moments very impressive um if we're ranking writing in games, I I would be stunned if this wasn't. I'm conservatively, not, I'd be stunned if this wasn't in the top ten. Stunned. I, I want to say top five, but then someone might say, "Here's five games that you love the writing on, Joe. Fuck you. I have the receipts. I'd be like, oh, fuck. You're right. Sorry. This go Elysium number one, and then like like this is easily in the top ten. Like I, it's it's this is one of the the rare times i can say this writing isn't just good for video games it's it's good it's not like oh video games have such low standards fuck you like no it's 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 good period like it's good so i enjoy it for that um but the ending man Overall, I'm disappointed. Oh, it's Annie. Annie was loving the game in chat, so let me read Annie's uh, closing thoughts. Overall, I'm disappointed that they went for DLC bait again, but that said, this was utterly fantastic and one of the most creative game experiences I've had. Were you playing it yourself, or is it, or is it through through me? Through me, the streamer. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I agree that I had a good time. Yeah. Scratcher seems like a reasonable retcon in the old games. Alan and Scratch were separate people beings. In this game, Scratch is Alan while possessed in the dark presence. It's a weird twist, but that's why Alan equals Scratch is meant to be a surprise and why the possession can can move around. Oh, I'm not. Sorry. Okay, I'm not. Maybe I'm not saying that. Maybe you're not saying that in response to me. You're just you're just clarifying. Um, it's not that I feel like the retcon is bad or that it comes out of nowhere. Or it's a surprise or anything like that. It, it's actually fairly predictable. Um. It's just not interesting. It's it's one of those things that's okay and you know like and, and that means what? It's fine as as a foundation. Like I have no problem with it. It's just like okay, can do something with it, please. You know, like that that's the problem. If if they introduce that and then immediately, uh, it doesn't help that it was with that fucking awful gameplay sequence too with him just being a fucking dumbass just running into the into the the light cage i don't understand that um they if they've done something good with it afterwards or interesting i'd be like okay fine this is where it's going but they they didn't to me it just kind of runs out um and i was really starting to get worried about that when the if you if you get into the like third act or very close to the end of act two of uh of story most stories have a three-act structure we all know that's not all of them but most do um if you get to the second act of your of your of your of the story and the antagonist hasn't even been on the screen yet, you should be really fucking worried. Like sometimes it, it works, but it's like what what the fuck? Where are they? There's another game, <coughs> Witcher Three, that um like I mean the main antagonist has like fucking like three scenes and doesn't show up. Like I I don't think uh, I I that's the, okay. I almost quoted the script. Um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> So in, in this case, uh, he was around, and you just didn't know it, but they didn't really have much of a presence. What about the mummy Tom Zane? Yeah, what about Tom Zane? I was expecting Tom Zane to do more, I was expecting Door to do more, I was expecting Breaker to do more. I love that scene. One of the best scenes in the game is in the morgue, when it just, just abruptly just unravels on so many levels. Oh, here's the supernatural. That guy just disappeared. Oh, the manuscript pages. There was a flash of this weird guy on, on the screen. What the fuck was that? Oh, now we're, someone's dead. Now we're in a fight. Holy shit. And, and Saga is fucking cold as ice about it, too. She is so calm. That was such a good scene. And I feel like half of that didn't go very far. I 
I experienced it through you, but I think I'll buy the game once the DLC is out. Thanks for the incredible playthrough and for playing Alan Wake One and associated stuff before this. Are oh, you welcome? I hope I hope this uh, I hope those playthroughs were good for some people as a refresher or seeing it first in prep for this because uh, I think the game is much better with with that prep. What about Tor and Odin going into the lake? Did you enjoy all the references to Nordic languages and culture? I thought it was quite charming and obnoxious. Yeah, I liked it too. It didn't bother me at all. Some people are going to be... Some people are going to be annoyed by... I mean, so... Oh, fuck it, I'm saying it. Some people are going to be annoyed that the, one of the lead characters, arguably the lead character, is, is, is a black woman. So, like, people are always going to be annoyed by some shit, okay? But, like, it, that didn't annoy me at all. Like, I, I liked it. It was charming, yeah. <sighs> Alan Woke, yeah, I know, right? The game balances motion so 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 well it's incredible you can hear the most horrific realistic audio of people burning alive at one moment and actually witnessing a whole bombastic fun musical and it's through the whole game even little things like like the radio yeah there's the radio and the and the advertisements were very well integrated uh the the parts where you're finding the manuscript pages those were were so much better written than alan wick one oh my god so much better i think alan wake being a stephen king kind of character uh doesn't do it for me either i would prefer it if it was if he was a more oh, like cormac mccarthy kind of character like like uh more of a celebrated literary author instead of like pulp generic mystery fiction i know but then he wouldn't have the worldwide fame but I, I, it just doesn't there's something about that doesn't fit for me and I, I can't take that character as seriously as i want to like i, I can take max Payne more seriously than alan wick for some reason I don't know. I think maybe this is a me problem. I don't hate King, actually. I really like Stephen King. The editing adds a lot more depth to those pages, too. Yeah, every page you find is a mystery. What was it before? How did it change? Yeah, so much. There's so much good stuff in this here to, to keep you uh, on your toes and attentive. Yeah, it's it's this. And I feel like that. Maybe that's why I'm disappointed. I feel like all the attention I poured into it wasn't met with a good enough reward at the end like I, I i gave this so much of my attention and um engaged with it at such a level and then at the end it was like oh this is what you get and i'm like okay yeah so another game okay the, all right i'm okay with that but i wish i was much happier now you know like <sighs> Why is he a bad writer exactly? I don't think Alan Wake was a bad writer in this one, but he was a pretty bad writer in the first one. And I think that was meant to be on purpose, wasn't it? Someone on Twitter said it perfectly. Alan Wake thinks he's Stephen King, but he's actually Dean Koontz. Oh, ho -ho, the burn! I love Wake, although he's really carried by the whole concept of his tragedy alone. It automatically makes him so much, uh, makes him so compelling to me. I like Alan Wake in the dark place. I don't like Alan Wake outside of it. Plot twists are difficult to define. I want to propose a reaction of, oh, ho, holy shit, what the fuck do we do now is what a writer would need to aim for. Surprise is not the only requirement. Can I get your thoughts? Uh, yeah, surpri surprise is not the only requirement. Yeah. Some of the, be the best plot twists... I completely just forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> oh, some of, the, some of the best plot twists still hold up even when you know the twist there we go that's what i was gonna say i've said it before i want to say a movie i've said it before it's my favorite movie you watch that movie knowing the twist and you're like damn like it can even make it more enjoyable the second time you know what i mean not always there's always exceptions to every rule okay I also feel like some writers write the plot twist first and then retroactively fit everything around the twist. Now, you are absolutely allowed and also encouraged to change some things around the twist that you have, but if you go into 
writing a story being like, well, I wonder what the plot twist is going to be. Can't wait till I find out. Then you're, then you have to be an, ex an extremely talented, uh, uh, extremely talented improv and editing to pull that off. And some people can, but some people can't. So a, a good twist is incorporated in that way. Um, and is a compliment to the story that adds a lot to it, but isn't the whole point of the story, you know? And I feel like Alan Wake 2's twist is like that, but it's just, they just don't do enough with it afterwards. Anyway, sorry, again, four hours of sleep. I hope I'm somewhat coherent. I like our post-game discussions, but I feel like I'm getting a headache. Yeah, I'm getting a headache. How do you feel about Remedy doing their MCU thing now? Uh, I feel like you have to play Control 2 now to understand Alan Wake 3. Yeah, I, I'm here for it, man. I, I'm fine with that. I, I like it. It's interesting to me. I don't know if I'm going to like it three more games from now. And I also, I, I fucking hate the thought of trying to get into Marvel movies when I've fallen out of it was like, oh, do your fucking homework here. Oh, you ha I, have, I haven't seen Endgame. I haven't seen any of the Spider-Man movies. There's so many of those I, I haven't seen. I'm like, oh, fuck, I have to like watch so many movies. Fuck it, I can't be fucked. Especially because a lot of them are bad. But maybe that's the reason. A lot of them are bad and therefore I don't want to do that homework. Whereas if the games are really good, I'm like, okay, cool. I do worry that it's going to get too convoluted and it's going to be more about the, the overlap rather than the the self-contained ones but again that's um that's a problem of execution and and planning if you can do that well then then great and uh right now this was done at such a high level that i would be very interested in playing the next one and the next control and seeing like what are the connections i like this uh i feel like the connections between these games have been very loose until now and this is the game where they're just they just put like the the hammer down we're like no we are going all in on throwing all the shit in the same pot and seeing what comes out main theory about zane is that we didn't meet real zane whatsoever it can be deduced from him not being a filmmaker in the real world but a poet so similar to how alan created diver zane to lead him to the first game when he lost his memory in the first two weeks he created zane the filmmaker in the second game so technically zane sank so deep into the into dark place that we don't know the real person yet hmm yeah i don't know i don't know about that right now i would say that that alan wake and zane are the same person that alan wake is to Oh, thanks. Alan Wake is to uh, is to Zane. Um, I was gonna say Saga, but no, he didn't make Saga like that. No, maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. I'm hitting a wall there. The fact that they look so alike makes me think that they're the same person, and that was him trying to write his way out after he got stuck in there. Why do all your streams involve walls? I love them walls. Everyone with some supernatural powers also called Alan Tom every time. Yeah, it's, thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah, that too. Yeah. So I just think it's it's just Tom. Do you think the price Saga paid was not knowing whether her daughter was alive or not? Mm, no, I don't think so. She said it was non-negotiable, so I think she picks up at the end. Maybe the sacrifice they did was that the audience doesn't get to know, but if they look at it close enough, they'd be like, okay, but I know, but I don't get to know for sure. So that's part of the, the deal that was struck there, which I kind of like, actually. I wish the bosses were more like Nightingale instead of just another boss to defeat. The cost of being corrupted just came out of nowhere, and the old lady was was even more out of nowhere. Yeah, that's another thing, yeah. Um, so, I wanted to talk about that earlier, and I forgot. Uh, Control and Nightingale set my standards pretty high on, on the monster part of this. And I do like the different enemies that we fought. The water ones were really creepy. I like those. But I thought that we were going to be fighting more 
stretch things like Hartman. And Nightingale, I don't know if they made him bigger, or if he was just always a, a big person, but he was a lot more monstrous too. And then the other ones are just basically bigger, normal people that have the dark shadow around them that they sign the light on. And I think that was a misstep. I think they could have gone really creative with the monster parts that you fight. I don't know why they didn't do that. Maybe they couldn't get it to work? I don't know. Quantum break, please. One day for sure, but not not right now. Alan Wake 2 or Lies of P? That's tough, man. These two games have... I love Souls-like gameplay, and I love boss fights especially, and Lies of P has one of the best boss rosters of all the Souls likes. Uh, it was great. Um, this had decent to good gameplay and had a story that I really love, but lost me at the end a bit. I'm probably going to give it to Liza P still, but this comes close. Very different trends. Yeah, it's not fair to compare them, but hey, they're both games. Are there stats somewhere on your collectibles we can see, like with the first game for bets? Not actually important if not. Um, any plans to stream play the two expansions and maybe new game plus with added story content? I'll wait too. Yeah, if there's DLC, we'll, we'll play it. If there's going to be, if they announce there's going to be three DLCs or two DLCs or whatever, I, I would rather wait for them all to be out and then we'll do them uh, together. Together. Oh. Alright, so we're here. So there's no fuck around afterwards? I guess they did warn me. Would you say this should be on the game of the year list? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay, so we got all of the TV. I don't see I don't see a collectibles one. Is there something in the options for that? I don't think we're gonna find it, chat, sorry. On the board, the case board. The deer? The deer's just gonna show me how many deers I found. Oh. oh no, it's not. It's not showing me at all. Can you exit the my palace by going out the door? Yes. Passion is neither en is never enough. Neither is skill. But try. Where's the statistics? Radio at the top. That just takes you to all the ones you found. We found everything apart from three of Pat Main Radio Show, which I think was bugged. The deer is supposed to give something if you found them all. Since you're past the open world, you can't see it. Okay. Yeah, there's some side stuff that we didn't find, but I think we did everything pretty thoroughly. Most of the main stuff, at least. Are we not reading reviews for this? I feel like reading reviews is only a good time if the game was bad. but you read reviews for Lies of P? Because I was angry. Because the reviews were bad. Should we see negative reviews of this game? Well, let's see. We have a little bit of time. It's not on Steam, though, is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No stream tomorrow? No stream tomorrow, no.
Okay. Alan Wake 2, uh, Google reviews, one out of five stars. If you know the definition of the word game, keep reading. Otherwise, get out of my sight. All right. Starting off real stable. So first off, let's take a look at how the game starts. A man gets killed, which was witnessed and reported by two passing randoms in the, in the jungle. Jungle. Then, an FBI agent comes in to investigate the murder. From now, I'm going uh, to point out all the things that are wrong about this so-called game. First, why do I have to investigate in the first place? I'm not here to play cops with a boring succession of organizing evidence, which I need to walk around to find. It's monotonous, and it's the most sleep-inducing affair. How this FBI agent of yours can learn the past events by intuition, but has to investigate every step toward catching the murderer. Okay, this person didn't finish the game, so I don't care. Um... One star review. First off, I'd like to give a big Alabama fuck you to the writers with the it's like Alabama but with big trees line that was used as a way to call Alabama racist. The fuck are they talking about? Anyone that makes it a point to call other people racist are usually racist themselves. I bet a hefty bag of change that the person that that wrote that line has exactly zero black people living in their neighborhood. With that said, I what the fuck is this person talking about? The game's bad. A walking simulator with perhaps the worst combat I've ever experienced in a whole game. It, w it was a standing simulator at one point, I think, as someone in chat said during the movie. First boss is a huge dude swinging a log, and most of the time you can't see the dude nor the log when he's attacking. Crying emoji. It's supposed to be survival horror, but the boss absorbs so much ammo that they have to make it magically appear in the same three containers over and over during this boss battle. Skill issue. So you find yourself running around in a circle looking for three containers while, while a dude is swinging a log at you, and the camera angle is so poor you can't even see him. Okay, um... Uh, my guess is that the the user stopped playing the game after after this boss. The bad camera angles works for something like Dark Souls, but not this. <laughs> what if Dark Souls catching strays? What the fuck? Typical new new era garbage game. I can't believe people hype this trash up. It looks good, but I don't care about looks. I want to actually see the boss that I'm fighting and have insane and not have insane clunkiness. I added items to my quick slot and they magically disappeared during the fight. Just overall. The NPCs repeat hi over and over. Nonsense. And if it's survival horror, I don't want infinite ammo and bullet sponge bosses. Didn't they learn anything from Resident Evil? Totally ruined Alan Wake for me. I need to go play the original to get my head on straight after that train wreck. Are you what? Oh, uh, dude, you haven't played the first one and you thought that was a dunk, but it wasn't. Oh, oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, no. Oh, you thought you could get away with that, but you didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I feel like I'm in a fever dream with all these glowing reviews. Alan Wake has been my favorite game since the day I played it, 10 years ago. I feel like I'm being pranked by Al by playing Alan Wake 2. It's a boring walking simulator. I've spent more than half my time putting pictures on a wall while pausing here and there to read a ton of reviews saying how scary the game this is and how it reminds them of Silent Hill instead of pointing my flashlight at the same zombie over and over and over and over again and then pressing left click without even having to aim my shots. Bring that back, Remedy. I just made that sentence up, just to be clear. I waited 10 years to watch Alan Alan Wake dance and sing musical theater? What in the Riverdale is going on? What? Plus there's a ton of game breaking bugs. This game and, and the insanely enthusiastic reviews have honestly made me question my sanity. At least I'll always have the beautiful first game with its quirkiness and, and homage to Twin Peaks that's more than just mentioning coffee every five minutes. Do, do, do. So Alan Wake 2 is very similar to 2012 Alan Wake American Nightmare in that they're both digital only on console. The latter is as anti-consumer as you can get in 2023 when most PS5 owners paid hundreds extra for a disk drive which Remedy have seen fit to make obsolete. The lie is it will save... The lie is it will save is money, but the game is epic exclusive and $70. So no saving at all, and all our data goes to who knows where. The game itself is okay, but there is a lot of walking and some iffy writing and story. It's not as good as Control or Alan Wake 1. Ooh, what the is fucking th three fucking not ones in a row? Who the fuck is saying Alan Wake 1's better than this? 
What? But it is better than uh, Alan Wake American Nightmare? I should fucking hope so! I'm one of the five people that played it. Overall hard pass until the PS5 physical disc comes out. Steve Geode says, Feels nothing like original. The beginning is so slow to start that you fight two bad guys before they throw a huge hard, bo hard boss fight where you have almost no ammo. <laughs> It might not even have any. The flashlight does not work like it did in the other Alan Wake game. It cannot stagger and it's only used to expose a weak point one time. This game feels like they wanted to make something original and forget about the first game. The graphics would be nice too if more than 5% of the people playing this could actually turn them higher than medium low settings. Go watch the Digital Foundry video! Medium, medium low is still better than your PlayStation 5! Welcome to the normal of making poor quality games. Oh my god. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay, strap yourself in. We got we got a we got a mad edgelord. Here we go. Another game ruined but in the name of diversity in quotes. I truly believe that we hit the, the point of no return. It will take a massive reset in order to go back to making great content over pleasing a minority. The game is to the minority of gamers that like good writing. That's true. That's true. You know what? He has a point. The game isn't too good either, and the graphics are just utter trash. I honestly thought I <laughs> what? 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 I honestly thought I was playing an Xbox One game with my four thousand five hundred dollar rig and getting barely fifty FPS. They are spitting in our food right in front of us, and we're thanking them with a smile and eating like nothing happened. <laughs> we're at this point in our society now. What the fuck? It's a video game. Holy sh. Rage Fit, yeah, is it? What? Alright, Alan Woke 2, here we go. Sick of unnecessary pandering? Then ignore, ignore Alan Wake 2 and the normie shills that blindly give this game a 10 out of 10. These are the sort of people that hand out perfect scores like candy. People who would argue the room is at least a 6 out of 10. Whoa, 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 that's where I start. What a what massive disappointment, both in the game and how low the standards are of gamers, in quotes. Alright, where's a good place? Metacritic? Let's get some professional reviews that, that gave it a, a bad score. I want to see what they say. Do, 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 do. There is no negative review. There's only mixed. How low do we go? All right, low, low as we go is 60 out of 100 from PlayStation Lifestyle. Those 13 years should have led to something better and it's surprising that they haven't. Alan Wake's gunplay has gone from dull to frustrating in the sequel. What? While it's venture, uh, what do you mean? While it's venture into true survival horror has been played by predictability and amateur. Here I, I'm, def I'm defending the gameplay of all things by predictability and amateurish jump scares. Its narrative narrative has a few memorable moments and is able to periodically use its outlandish antics to its advantage. Yet it's still dragged down by its refusal to provide enough rewarding resolutions to its litany of riddles. That I agree with. Yeah, sure. Alan Wake 2 doesn't improve on what made the original such a cult hit and is instead an uncharacteristically rough draft that needed more edits. It's not a lake or an ocean, it's a disappointment. <laughs> what? Six, that, that reads like a, a 3 out of 10, not a 6 out of 10. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a disappointment, 60 out of 100. Needed an editor, needed an editor. I, I think this, this game has the makings of a cult hit more than the first one, does it not? A lot of people are calling this like art house video game and that's, I agree. Metro Game Central says, A peculiar sequel that at times seems to be purposefully undermining the best elements of the original, but still gets j What are those? But it still gets just enough right to please both existing fans and potential newcomers 6 out of 10. Game Informer, 78 out of 100. I have been eagerly waiting for Alan's return since the original game ended with a cliffhanger and 2012's American Nightmare did little to move the story forward. I am narratively satisfied with the events of the game and enthusiastically welcome Saga into the world, but actually playing the game, navigating the world, and avoiding combat is where I stumbled. I was eager to see the next cutscene, but gameplay often fell short, and I fought more bugs than taken enemies. For longtime Remedy fans and those who want to see what happens next for Alan Wake, the sequel is a success, but making it to the end includes unnecessary hurdles uh that's that's fair yeah you know if you don't vibe with the gameplay this is this is fair yeah i i can i that's acceptable to me yeah 
GG Recon, 80 out of 100. If we could ignore the bugs and glitches, there's one thing we can say for certain. Alan Wake 2 is Remedy at the height of its powers. On a personal level, Remedy's games have meant a great deal to me, leading me down the halls of the Federal Bureau of Control time and time again. Okay, and to see their work refuse to dwindle with time is truly a sight to behold. One game, yeah, I know. That's that's why I stopped. I'm like, huh? That 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 was the game they made before this. Okay, you know what? Is there even a negative comment we can find on the Alan Wake subreddit? Is there anyone that's like, I'm disappointed? Where's the Starfield people? Kojima agrees. Alan Wake 2 is arguably the best we've seen in the survival horror genre since PT jumped out at us a decade ago and shares the same DNA as Hideo Kojima's cancelled Silent Hills. Alright. Alan Wake 2 ruined games for me because it's so good. <laughs> Initiation Chapter 4 is the best game moment I've ever experienced. I, I, want, I want something negative. Give me negative. Controversial. Here we go. All right, past week. The disappointed have arrived. The disappointed people are flowing in like the beaches of Normandy and they are getting vote bombed. Do you not see that in the years to come, the people downvoting the disappointed will think maybe they could have made the game a little bit more like Alan Wake 1 or it could have been a little longer? It's not that it's a horror, but that the enemies are optional. This is played over dramatically for the sake of a bit. I don't think I don't think we're gonna find I don't think we're gonna find it. I don't think we're gonna find something good. Alan Wake 2 seemed like it had everything to be a great game, but it, I think it leaned overly hard into the creepy atmosphere and had an unnecessarily convoluted story. When you think about the events of the game, it was pretty straightforward what happened and arguably predictable. However, the way the game delivered information to us was just so out there and bizarre that it felt more mysterious than it actually was. Mm. I agree with a little bit of that. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of things I really enjoyed in this game. My my probably is mainly problem probably is mainly with Alan's part of the game. He's a title character and his story was just weird to be weird. While his missions were unique, they just didn't seem to bring the story forward as much as Saga's did. I felt heavily more invested in Saga than Wake. The ending is where this thing really falls apart in my opinion though. I won't discuss the actual events of the ending, but after the credits scene seems to hint the entire game was ultimately did not matter. That I agree with. Yep, that'll it'll keep repeating with slight variations. The characters had two goals to get Wake out and to get Casey and Saga out of the horror story. While we think we were successful on some fronts, the after credits scene pretty much made it seem like nah none of this mattered i get it it's not a loop it's a spiral so yes there's some progress but ultimately we didn't succeed in our goal so what was the point of going through the whole game yeah okay well this one's really long i'm not reading that one okay i i feel like enough time has to, has to pass that a really well written negative post will be accepted and upvoted high enough that we could be able to, to read it but yeah I think chat was right that some of those reviews that we saw on Google were were uh, were rage bait. Uh, who's last person I said thank you to? Personal sheep, right? Personal sheep with the resub, I think. Zero vault, D cross. Did I say thank you to Gallander? Probably. Thank you, Gallander, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Gallander. Just in case. Uh, what was the answer to what's your game of the year of these limited streamed options? What was what was the winner? Alan Wake 2 1. Really? Damn. Unlike the ending, this game's beginning had a strong start. Uh, great at both introducing the characters and the story with a heavy atmosphere which kept it immersive and entertaining. Yeah, I agree. Uh, very strong beginning. Yep. But I don't mind something being a bit slow at the beginning, and it was slow on the gameplay. Or, sorry, it was slow on the combat. It wasn't slow on the gameplay. And some people, to some people, combat is the only gameplay, which I can see where they're coming from, but I disagree. 
Thanks. I'm a little lost in the story, but review time is always enjoyable. You're welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So next stream is Saturday? I believe so. Yeah, probably. It's still potentially Sunday, but yeah, I think Saturday. So we're going to stream Slay the Princess on Saturday, and there's going to be an announcement on Saturday as well. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to overly, like, say, come on Saturday, but if you like the community that we have and you like our bullshit kind of uh you don't like you don't have to be there live but you should check out the vod at least okay so you should definitely you know yeah another kid it's not another kid v uh, what time on saturday uh probably around the same time as always or it could be sunday it's saturday or sunday saturday or sunday You didn't ask me to start at the end of the stream. Oh, at the very end, I'm gonna I'm gonna just fucking drag it out as long as possible. No, I'll do it at the start. Uh, and yeah, I'll be Slay the Princess. We'll do we'll, we'll play the Slay the Princess for uh, a couple hours. Yeah. It's not fifth kid. It's not fifth kid. It's sixth kid. There's a secret fifth kid the whole time. We got you. We got you. See? Oh shit. Oh man, oh, oh, my head hurts. Oh, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> oh. Anyway, all right, see you, uh, see you on Saturday and Sunday. And then after that, we're on break for a while. And then I don't know when we're going to be back. Sometime, somewhere. Anyway, see you later. Thank you for watching Play Alan Wake 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I have a feeling that this is going to be one that people are vauders for. So if you're at the end of the VOD, I hope that it held up as a non-live experience and that you enjoyed seeing me go through it and if not fuck you all right see you. <laughs>